Hello and good evening. Welcome back to the CWC Season 8. Oh my, oh my. Yesterday it was an amazing game coming up uh, from uh, between Forever Yak and uh, 12 Plus. We have seen the boats play on the Highlands map. And it looks like tonight we're going to see them play on Pangea Standard Ridges. Uh, they did actually go through uh, the map choices over there and um, it looks like... Um, we, uh, I gotta say, we might have a problem with uh, Near Bird as well. Uh, it looks like he's uh, having a bit of a trouble, a bit of trouble to actually stay in the lobby. Good afternoon, ma'am, uh, Linda. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're gonna have a good time with us. Uh, we do have Eddie Coffin also. Good evening, good evening, sir, and welcome. Nemesis 971. Thank you so much for uh, the resubscription. And of course, I uh, commenting on to answer your question over there. Um, I would say uh, not really your um, victory condition, but what do you need in the game? Uh, it kind of depends on uh, what uh, do you want to in the game and what is your um uh, land available and uh, how of course um, you want to play it uh, at the same time i did also notice closing good and up on my head hey welcome we do have also big say good evening sir and welcome welcome i did uh, see uh, heining dave picking up that first promotion hello there sir and uh, thank you so much over there for picking it up thank you so much uh, for everything now also mouse k hello there sir and good evening i did see uh, start spanky bună seara domnule și bine ai venit let me actually uh, take a quick uh, look at my settings over here here i do need to change the map and it looks like we're uh, waiting over here for um uh, the last player to uh, join they did try to start up the draft but uh, they ended up uh, just banning one or two civilizations and then they start uh, let me actually put the uh, pangea standard ridges over here as uh, the map for today uh, we're gonna see them uh, play in a much cl more uh, closer quarters battles than yesterday <laughs> even though we've seen uh, a decent amount of action uh, throughout the game yesterday uh, well it was only by the late game that we've started seeing those nukes flying the subs uh, going against their opponents uh, planes, submarines, everything was there, jet bombers and GDRs at the late game, give me a second also, <laughs> there we go, uh, I don't know why I always forget about this uh, with the phone, but it is what it is, uh, too many things uh, to do at once, I'm gonna need to make a list, you know, on my screen over here, I'm gonna need to actually have a list, uh, Heineck Davis for the first promotion, he is! Oh, he's amazing, man. The last game was a banger with a lot of dukes. Indeed, I agree. That was amazing. Uh, Standard Ridges does actually spawn with uh, the continents on, uh, with, as you say, with the mountain, mountains on the continent splits. And... Um, in the game, oh no, okay. In the game today, it does look like we're gonna have Vladimir, Just Demon, Demonar, and uh, Roy uh, showing up for uh, Forever Young. On the other side, we do have uh, Shaturianin with uh, Nylok outside, and uh, we don't know if it's gonna be Near Bird or um, uh, Opera 357 uh, showing up again. Uh, they do have a sub ready, if I uh, did see this uh, correctly on uh, Discord. Yeah, they do have a sub ready. They did also get the pre game bands going. It's gonna be Scotland with Grand Columbia. Cleopatra Ptolemy and uh, Persia Cyrus uh, for them tonight. Okay, Nylok is back in the lobby and I guess uh, we're waiting for um, uh, the last player to join uh, to actually show us the way over there. It is what it is. Standard Ridges. Well, uh, on uh, Standard Ridges Pangea, you usually do get a lot of um, land civilizations. Uh, bo uh, not that many Seamers as uh, we've seen in other games. Uh, the players do prefer uh, to go for uh, civilizations that do have uh, war bonuses when it comes to um, uh, the mid uh, game or early game. And it, yes, indeed, it does look like Opera 357 did join over here. They do. Uh, they will want to actually uh, stop um, any kind of problem from happening. <laughs> Uh, from the beginning, from the draft, so we don't uh, end up uh, in a relentless, unending re lobby simulator over there, or like we've seen yesterday. Well, at least uh, they're putting the team pluses, they're gonna go again for the map pool choices. Uh, Pangea standard ridges are gonna be the choice. I think he's actually uh, rejoining through fix zero MS rather than anything else. I don't think he actually dropped, but anyway, I hope so. I hope so. In my heart, over there, oh, it is what it is, anyway. Uh, talking about um, uh, the choice yesterday, we did have um, let's see, uh, two civilizations that were fighting over there for supremacy when it came down to uh, acquiring the culture and um, the tourism. They did manage to counter each other quite uh, properly, Canada and uh, Tamar. Uh, we did also see um, Age of Steam with amazing um, production capabilities uh, that did manage to overtake Korea at some point, while um, Korea, with the support help of um, his next door neighbor, Grand Columbia, did manage to 
to overtake Cyrus. Uh, so there were there were quite a few fights on uh, the map. Uh, even it was even if it is uh, even if it was Highlands, we did have uh, so much action to talk about. And of course, uh, talking about their um, options over there at the beginning of the game and uh, throughout the mid game. Uh, Vladimir was a real hero. Yes plus plus i think we should declare him mvp for yesterday because oh my god man he did amazing i mean his opponents did amazing as well don't get me wrong but his efforts in a three versus one situation three versus four situation uh did actually uh, make um uh, gave, gave forever young that last chance that last hope to get the win well now we are uh, a one um point for 12 plus zero points for forever young in this best of three series uh today since it is the second game they're uh, gonna need to equal that out and i'm pretty sure forever young will want to cross that uh, check that on the board over there so that we can go for a third game and they get into the upper bracket and not in the lower um i do want to point out also in the active ban phase we do have uh, four civilizations uh, taken out here it looks like uh, gorgo with khmer and we do have rome and um Chandra Gupta with Nader Shah. I'm just gonna repost uh, the pregame band so they actually get uh, over here in the last line so you can get to see them while we're in the lobby. Scotland, Grand Columbia, Ptolemaic, and Persia Cyrus. So both Persias will actually not be available for uh, the teams to pick uh, to be picked um and of course uh, since this is pangea i'm pretty sure uh, nobody wants some uh, running away uh, immortals on the map over there uh, just uh, uh, throwing arrows left right and center and uh, taking over cities now there's one last uh, band to go for and um the players are still um, adapting to the early tourism requirement that uh, they do have the benefits from in um, uh, the BBG. And we're going to need to see if uh, it is going to be... Oh, it is going to be Ape Lincoln. Ape Lincoln is going to be banned. Okay, Ape Lincoln. Okay, they well, it's not Macedon, it's Ape Lincoln. They, uh, unfortunately, the first civilization for some reason in the draft cannot be uh, picked over there. But anyway, I'm going to state it out loud. It will be Ape with Nader Shah, with um, Chandra Kupta. It looks like also Rome with Khmer and Gorgo are also going to be taken down. It's not unheard of that the players will go for uh, some kind of um, uh, coastal civilization on these games. Maybe we're going to see something like Spain, where we're going to see something like Age of Steam again, uh, or um, uh, Daido. Uh, oh, okay, Mbande. Somebody really likes Mbande. Okay, okay. I mean, yesterday we've seen it being banned. Today we see it being big. Remember, it, it did get um, uh, quite a change over there, and I would say a significant nerf in its abilities. It doesn't get the continent split bonus, as in uh, the 10% that you would have gotten from uh, your continent, from settling cities on your continent, and a penalty on another continent. Now you do get uh, the archaeological cost to produce or purchase uh, is reduced by 50%. Okay, okay, you get some uh, artifacts over there. Uh, plus 10% gold and plus 10% culture in cities with an embanza. So you actually need to build embanzas uh, to get that bonus. It doesn't stack with uh, multiple embanzas in the second, in the... Um, the same city the embanza also provides two adjacency to the commercial hubs and theater squares now this might um, be quite interesting when it comes to a late game even though i am um, thinking this is uh, quite a nerf for uh, mubande which i am very surprised personally i'm very surprised it gets uh, picked or banned in the game it still benefits from the ingao mubeba you still have uh, uh, that bonus for uh, the greater and uh, the great writers the artists the musicians the uh, the merchants and uh, well you do get the 100 production to archaeologists so archaeologists you get them extremely quickly now uh, you actually need to get there like uh, need to get to the museums you need to get to uh, have a lot of uh, relics around um to benefit from that uh, vladimir will go for tamar looks like just dima is going to be on uh, matthias corvinus and uh, we will see hungary's abilities in the game now uh, we will need to also see if uh, we're gonna have okay the fourth one it's actually gonna be a similar it's a uh, age of steam victoria being picked up again here but this time it is going to be on the opposing team 12 plus is going to benefit from uh, that extra production uh, from age of steam mm, like we've seen yesterday it did get a nerf uh, in the previous one uh, the 10 percent uh, from its workshop got um, deleted you only get it for the factories and of course the production um, or i should say the um, production of power buildings uh, coal power plants oil power or uh, oil plants and the uh, nuclear plants now uh, you 
Uh, also, do not get the extra production immediately after you reveal the strategic resources. You actually need to work them. So there's a significant nerf in its early tempo. But mid to late game, Age of Steam does um, tend to shine, as you've seen yesterday, a thousand uh, plus production uh, on uh, Vladimir. And uh, we do have uh, Adriano. Hello there, sir. What has changed recently with the marks? And day in a row, uh, you do get uh, plus one culture on the walls and uh, a little bit of a nerf on the walls when uh, on the tickets on the wall tickets uh, when they're in um, golden age you don't get plus eight faith uh, anymore you get plus seven faith so uh, plus one culture minus one uh, faith uh, change over there uh, for uh, the tickets now oh no did i just <sighs> I don't know what's happening here. Um, for some reason, the the game has uh, locked. I've seen this uh, like this is like the five, fifth time that this happens when I was in the lobby. Um, now I have to miss the fun part. I'm gonna have uh, uh, okay. Uh, the, the lobby freeze for everyone. Kick. Oh no! Why do I have the impression now that? Uh, Oh my god, okay. Okay, so I guess, uh, well... Uh, anyway, we, we did have uh, two more bands over here with um, Mapuche and uh, Genghis Khan. It looks like uh, we're going to need to actually close the game and restart it again to actually uh, get back in the lobby. Um, on uh, Tamar, we've actually seen uh, it uh, be quite nice. A lot of uh, face generation coming up uh, early on. Uh, we've seen actually um, a few uh, strategies uh, applied by the players. Um, very, very I would say close strategies, like sometimes uh, you see one player going for Holy Side with Stonehenge, sometimes you see uh, players um, maxing out the face generation that they have, uh, they do try to um, get just with education and um, uh, Papal Primacy, sometimes we've seen uh, players just totally ignore the Papal Primacy, um, depending on what kind of city states they do have uh, around. I do have to say, of course, with uh, Hungary in the game, this is uh, going to be quite uh, interesting to see what uh, they're going to go for. Uh, let me actually uh, take a quick peek over here. Uh, maybe we should actually have a re lobby, but I guess it's fine. We're getting back into the lobby right now. Uh, on uh, Tamar, yesterday we did have uh, a lot of science and the culture coming up from uh, his side. Uh, he uh, did manage to secure both uh, of those uh, city states that give uh, science bonuses for his team. And uh, that allowed them to actually um, get much, much better numbers when it comes to that uh, blue uh, uh, status. Uh, okay, well, I guess uh, we're still loading in. Uh, gonna need to fix this. Fix this somehow. Well... Connecting to players. Yeah. Um, I do have to say that uh, I haven't seen the players uh, use the face generation that much uh, with uh, Jesuit education. Uh, we've seen a few uh, like a few strategies uh, from them. I think yeah, they're relobbing. I think they're relobbing right now. Yes, they are relobbing. I think it's much better to relobby anyway. Um, so we get a fresh lobby without uh, uh, that many problems. Okay. Um, maybe it is uh, gonna be fine. Maybe we're actually gonna see somebody else uh, lobby. I don't know. Let me see. Shaturian in. I think he put up a lobby again. Um, yeah, I think so. We're connecting to players. So there we go. Uh, one of the things that I've uh, I've seen the players do like to chain those monumentality golden ages. While um, at least uh, the last two times that we've seen Tamar in the games and the first time that we've seen it being played out by Chuck, if I'm not mistaken, he did uh, choose to go for uh, first monumentality to benefit from the walls. Uh, didn't actually spam those holy sets out he uh, relied as much as possible on the tickets to give him the face generation and then just buy out a few builders um, uh, get his um, sim up with the first age with the first era and then in the second one he went for a pen brush and voice to get uh, better um, uh, better stats when it comes to the culture and uh, the gold also allow him to use that face generation uh, to buy out libraries uh, with uh, the Jesuit education um, uh, belief that he had in his uh, religion so it was quite uh, nice to see that uh, difference um i did also notice he didn't if i remember correctly he didn't actually um uh wait we're getting yeah we're getting in we're getting in I, I hope so why why can't i scroll down this is so weird anyway maybe i need to do this no i have no idea why okay there we go maybe i was just uh, not clicking where i should click oh i see oh look at this guys if i actually click on the bar it doesn't work if i click next to the bar it actually works <laughs> oh 
my god, man. It is what it is. One of those games, man. One of those games. Oh, uh, name. Anyway. Now uh, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, it's uh, it's happening. It's uh, it's happening. It's happening. Cool Black Khan. It looks like it's gonna be uh, the, the ninth ban, and we do have one more ban to go. And we're gonna see them uh, pick their civilizations. They do have uh, four more picks on Demon Nylok, uh, Shaturian, and, and Roy uh, to go for. While they did pick uh, Age of uh, Steam, Tamar, Hungary, and do, 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 do. what was the was the last one? What was the last one? There was a fourth pick over there. Uh, uh, well, it is what it is. I guess we're gonna find out when uh, they're actually gonna go uh wait kublai mongolia kublai khan mongolia yeah it makes sense uh, kublai khan mongolia actually um has been absent from a lot of the games uh, even though it still uh, retains the same bonuses that it did when it was um, very 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 um wanted by the players and very high up in their uh, preferences we did see it um actually um uh, drop down in the player preference with uh, the introduction of new leaders with uh, new leaders getting buffs uh, and uh, of course uh, other nerfs on the other ones now kublai khan still gets the benefits from those international trade routes uh, it's still um, uh, usually gets to shine at the mid uh, in the early game with the extra um, uh, production from those internals we're going to need to see how this goes though why are they picking sips did they actually finish the uh, lobby why, why are they picking sips i see uh, outside going for tomaris uh, we might have uh, zero ms somewhere yes i do have uh, just demo over there with zero ms uh just uh let me actually uh, rejoin over there so uh, there's no more problems there we go we're getting it okay so they're picking their civilizations outright okay so we actually will see some Saka horse searches uh, play around the map over here and uh, we're going to need to see how uh, he's going to also make use of the new kurgans the new kurgans uh, did get implemented uh, recently in the last patch with an extra point of production if i'm not mistaken um plus one production for each patch plus one faith for each patch increasing to oh no yeah okay okay wait is it oh it's a base faith no sorry it's not production it's base faith it was uh two faith and uh, three gold okay very nice very interesting now we're gonna need to see how the players uh, will make good use out of that and of course uh, that also opens up uh, ways for them to um, buy out those uh, cav units with uh, their phase generation which is gonna be a nice uh, addition uh, one of the uh, the things that we've seen in multiple games is how uh, Shaka can shine at the beginning with uh, the extra plus five against um, uh, well relatively weak opponents. Uh, let me actually put up the prediction. We're starting up the game. Let's actually see oh, uh, how many remaps we will have. How many remaps? Uh, we got the question going over here with zero, one, uh, two. Remember, this is uh, Pangea standard ridges. Uh, the um, positioning of the map will uh, be quite important. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure the players will will um, want uh, to uh, be in a position that they can um, uh, double team somebody else uh, uh, two versus one will be uh, preferred on this map we're gonna also need to see uh, especially um, the mountain ranges if they do manage to create chokes if, if they do manage to um, uh, stop uh, uh, armies from uh, going across the map at the beginning of the game we've seen some weird punches i gotta say wait they actually put premier league over here oh god man he didn't go for the cwc uh now begins your greatest quest. <laughs> Kek tabole, man. It is what it is. The, the screen, the splash screen, instead of being um, a CWC, it's actually Premier League. It is what it is. You know what um, the contest we're in. We're in the Civilization World Cup uh, Season 8. And uh, we are in the second game of the... Um, uh, 12 plus plus... Uh, 12 plus and uh, Forever Young... Uh, series now we do have uh, on the top left part of the screen we do have outside coming up over here with Scythia. looks like he's gonna be a north of a goal and uh who is that fourth oh maban there was the fourth civilization that i uh, didn't get to check okay uh, so it looks like they're gonna be uh, quite close to each other over here with Scythia actually on the back line uh, not really the preferred choice uh, to actually have Scythia uh, in uh, such a position uh, you do want Scythia on the front line you do want Scythia fighting off uh, enemies even though yes late game tanks with Scythia are actually quite uh, strong well a lot of the times you do want to use your early bonuses against uh, an opponent he does have a uh, die style to benefit from from some extra faith and from what i do see he's uh, gonna have quite a bit of uh, fresh water from these uh, rivers a bit of a coast over here that he could uh, actually uh, use with shaturian to get um 
coastal trade routes going unfortunately for them i do see on the other side of the coast there's going to be just ima on uh, the coast on the eastern side of the coast that uh, can actually send some uh, units to his opponents uh, later on when he hits a uh, cartography we're going to need to see if uh, he's actually going to do that because he does have an ally next to him and uh, opera 357 is an opponent uh wait a second yeah we do have actually the two english next to each other Kektaboli, with no no possibility for them to actually fight each other <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're gonna fight in the dirt over here on uh, the floodable terrain in the March tiles and everything rather than uh, actually on uh, the waters. Well, I guess it is what it is. And we do have uh, Aduatuka with uh, Goal. It looks like uh, he is uh, going to get some uh, strategics in the south. I don't see him benefiting from a lot of stone tiles or quarries. Uh, only a few scattered ones. He has a very good second city over here next to the Coco tiles. But again, a very, uh, well, I should say, relatively weak Opidums. He's still going to get uh, some mines around them to increase their adjacency. But not, us not the usual spawn that uh, we like to see on uh, Goal over here. And we do have him also with uh, Gopustan Settle to the southeast where he's going to get... Um, more production and culture from each of these tiles uh, he does have um a decent amount of land to uh, settle in the southeast and uh, in the east side unfortunately this is uh, just not good this is not good not a lot of features not a lot of uh, food available for him to uh, actually make use of all of these uh, works uh, all of these uh, tiles and not to mention he doesn't have a lot of um, adjacency towards opidums again i say it again uh, they could actually um, make um, a bit of use of this uh, coastal terrain over here to the northwest for example this city on the two to on the yeah to the forest uh, they might actually get to uh, use uh, quite nicely uh, to set up coastal trailers with a uh, Scythia that's a mm, whoa 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 I remembered something gold doesn't actually get to uh, put his uh, harbor next to right so he might actually <laughs> not want to get it there maybe put it on the 2-1 base and get a plus 3 uh, for the whale tiles extra amenities is always nice um, you're going to visit Taj Mahal next weekend oh, amazing man amazing that that must be very cool you gotta share pictures bro yeah, it looks like, uh, wait, what is this? What are these? Are these, uh, well, a simple mouse for some reason uh, shared us a picture over here. Is this what he's doing right now? Is he, is he actually playing and wait, do we have simple mouse in the game? Uh, we don't have simple mouse in the game. So he's, uh, right now, look at that. A player from, uh, uh 12 plus is just, uh, burning, scorching. What are these? Um, mushrooms. He's burning mushrooms over there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, yeah. Twitch is on, bro. Uh, anyway, now moving forward, we do have, uh, Mubande coming up with his, uh, two to one base. Looks like he's going to have a geothermal fissure right underneath his, uh, settler. Uh, and by the looks of it, he's also going to have, um, a triple continent split. Uh, we do have a relic over here for uh, just Dima. Wait, no, for uh, sorry, for Opera 357. That's uh, Age of Steam, uh, England. And uh, well, we're going to need to see him uh, get that Pantheon first. They can't trade it until turn 20. And uh, we're going to need to see what kind of uh, Pantheon is he going to want to choose from the beginning. Uh, very nice to actually benefit from uh, maybe uh, some... Uh, it yeah, I'm pretty sure it, over here it's going to be a God of the Sea. I'm pretty sure. Uh, he has uh, nice resources uh, coming up over here with pearl tiles, with uh, some uh, uh, crab tiles. Would have been amazing. To, and he can just keep on going to settle the west side. Not a lot of resources, but still it's enough to uh, make it worth. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's enough resources. Eleven production. Now on the Mabande, we do have him uh, pumping over the scouts and uh, it looks like uh, he's also going to have uh, a lot of fresh water to develop his cities on uh, some of them uh, that could be put on um, directly on um, uh, luxury resources like uh, citrus and uh, from what i do see uh, we do have him uh, to the north with some mountains so he can get the uh, adjacency towards uh, campuses these geothermals will also give him a lot of adjacency towards uh, Campuses, for example, can settle this one over here. Oh, actually, he should settle this one over here and then get another settle on the citrus because why not? Uh, he does have um, uh, one, two, three amenities in just that one city, and, but he does need to, to actually get mining and he does need to get irrigation to improve them. Uh, he's uh, not that far away from Georgia. Uh, they are uh, opponents over here and uh, we might actually see some um, uh, capsules coming against him. Uh, Demonar has Tbilisi on a 2-2 base on a uh, Plains Hill and I do see 
see him uh, benefiting from some bananas over there uh, to uh, get the extra food for his citizens. Uh, he has also good um, possible cities uh, to stop uh, Congo from getting too close to him. And we're going to need to see who's going to be the first one to actually get the settle in, on the river in between. We do have uh, also Tbilisi pumping out the settler in three. It looks like uh, he doesn't have a wonder. He does have a Kofital to settle on the east if he wants to for some extra culture. And uh, well, I guess he does have some mountains that he could get the adjacency towards uh, holy sites. Even though, to be honest, we've seen uh, players uh, not really care that much about the adjacency towards uh, holy sites in the previous games. Now, let me actually see. Did I uh, pump this up uh, correctly over here? Do I? Do I? Yes, I should. I should have everything set up properly. Now we do have also. Hungary in the middle of the map with the city of Bura getting uh, settled in three and uh, it looks like he did choose to um, stay on the 2-2 two -two base not actually go for the honey tile uh, has uh, another settle to the southeast uh, two tiles uh, for the pull of the Daniel bonus and um, I do see actually he could settle another uh, honey tile to the northeast very nice um, with uh, more possible choices for his uh, pull of the Daniel bonus, uh, the 50% that you get towards um, constructing districts and the buildings in them across the river from a city center. Has a wonder also, but uh, he's, uh, he might actually need to find Mongolia for that. No, 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 they're allies. It's fine. They're going to need to split uh, Lake Red, but somehow or somebody's going to get a first settler there. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Now, uh, looks like he's also going to be uh, the one to the southwest of Opera. That's uh, one of his opponents. Uh, we do have uh, him also to the east side of Congo which uh, well we're going to need to see if uh, he actually manages to get some units over there it's not that close it kind of depends on where Congo is going to want to settle and of course if they do keep this map uh, how many remaps uh, is a bit uh, too long I guess uh, we did have them on uh, zero remaps at the moment so we're going to need to see we're going to need to see oh wait it's 30 minutes oh my god okay I'm gonna stop it I'm gonna stop it when it uh, finishes Oh my god, yes, I don't know why I put 30 minutes, I'm sorry, it's fine. Let's actually end some missions, get your final points in guys, we got to turn 10, we, we got turn 10, let's get your final points in, and I'm gonna end the submissions uh, right here. But yes, thank you for pointing that out, I don't know why, I guess uh, I totally forgot to change the timer. Uh, Xanadu does also have a plus 5 uh, campus over here on that uh, aluminium tile, but unfortunately he does need bronze working to get that. Uh, we do have uh, him with a decent amount of land, a very good land actually to settle to the southwest west side, uh, north uh, side. Uh, he's also going to have um, uh, England to go against over here and let me actually, there we go, choose, uh, uh, I ended the submission guys, got, got it. We stopped, we stopped a few seconds before the remap uh, started. We've seen the spawn of London, uh, it's uh, right now Next to England, we do have uh, also Liverpool uh, over here in the north part, and uh, we do have the teams uh, right now voting for something. It is gonna be one remap at the moment. We do have 12 plus not wanting to actually uh, throw under the bus Opera 357 over here. And I gotta say, man, this guy is really unlucky. Like every time we see him in the game, somehow he actually ends up being on the front line between multiple opponents. Uh, sad school word hello there sir mm, uh, sad squid word actually hello there sir uh, what is the best advice you could give for multiple uh, receive versus regular save improve strategic resources as soon as you can make sure you have a classical unit before the first era or very close to the changing of the era between ancient and classical and uh, make sure you get your golden ages especially first and second make sure you get your golden ages after that it's all like uh, after these are um, uh, how to say checked everything is uh, subjective over there you're going to need to learn how to um, get um, uh, to use your bonuses against your opponents you're going to get to uh, use your abilities of the civilization and so on and so forth but these these actually stay um, you know, true for everything and i actually made a few tips and tricks uh, actually i gave a few tips and tricks in the um, rise and fall version that are still holding actually uh, until today if you do want to uh, check that video out i think it's on youtube if i'm not mistaken if you want i can definitely share the link uh, and uh, recently i did put up a video about early warfare explaining exactly what you would need to think about uh, when preparing for early warfare and of course to judge if you want to go for early warfare or not because you gotta be careful with that let me see uh tips 
tips and tricks yes uh, let me share the videos over here get shareable link uh, there we go uh, pembrush and voice is always in a current bbg meta not always i wouldn't say actually we've seen uh, the players uh, go for a lot of them but there is there is a predominance in pembrush and voice uh, in their choices now we've seen a little bit more monumentality recently we've seen a little bit more uh, free inquiry recently so i think uh, both are actually viable options actually or three sorry are viable options so that's a uh, uh, tips and tricks video that i did late uh, last uh, like in rise and fall and uh, let me see early warfare over here i can share you that uh, link as well get shareable link there we go there we go there there you go there you go sorry now, Senior Tessa, hello there, sir. No one goes for the Missionary Apostle one? No, no. And uh, I hope to God they're not actually going to change that. I really hope to God there's not going to be something like a fourth um, uh, layer. Uh, it's a bit too much for uh, for the players overall. And I think also for the balance of the game. It's a bit unfortunate uh, that is, but it's a bit too much. Now we do have uh, England coming up over here this time on the western side and it looks like he's going to have a goal over here as an ally. Okay, that's actually going to uh, help him uh, survive a little while longer, but he does have Mongolia in the south, uh, Roy, uh, that might actually send some units towards him, depending on uh, how far in the north, how far in the south uh, he's actually going to put cities. Uh, he can just settle in place and that's what he's doing, getting a 2-2 two -two base. Uh, looks like Opera is uh, starting to scout uh, to the north with his warrior and will get a scout out uh, in three turns to go to the south. Uh, Religion too weak in multiplayer, sad. Uh, I wouldn't say religion is too weak. Religion's victory is weak, uh, but it's in the 4v4, but it's not weak in FFAs. Be careful. There are multiple uh, differences over there um, that uh, make uh, actually religious victory uh, viable in FFAs, especially now that you don't have the condemn button. It's extremely annoying if you have uh, apostles actually just running around your cities uh, trying to convert them, uh, running around your territory, I should say. Uh, you also need to, uh, yeah. You need to take into account the religious uh, bonuses that you already get and uh, not religious victory anyway. Religious uh, is quite strong in multiplayer uh, overall. Like Tamar, for example, uh, it gets uh, very strong with its religion. Uh, Russia gets strong with its religion. Uh, Khmer, very strong religious bonuses. Uh, there are so many civilizations that actually rely on uh, the religious bonuses uh, and their beliefs uh, to actually shine in the games. Now we do have uh, England over here with uh, actually one, two, three three settles that he could go to the north the Tsingi, the Bemaraha on the east side even though he doesn't actually have an opponent so he could easily sell, uh, settle there uh, has a city state that he could kill at some point Samarkand on the other side of his uh, peninsula and uh, by the looks of it of course will have an ally to the southeast in the form of Gaul now we do have uh, Doatuka with a 3-1 base he chose to actually move for the Reichstag to get the extra food and it does seem like he's um, gonna have another city that he could settle on the coco tile uh we see the same thing happening over here on goal unfortunately no more uh, stone tiles around his cities and i think this uh, was a bit too much of a nerf uh, for his abilities um i believe it wasn't did he lose or did he not lose i i, I don't remember i know he lost his um um culture bomb uh, with the mines but I, and i think it got changed to opidums if i remember correctly so uh, we'll see we'll see anyway he's gonna get an opidum over here probably on that uh, uranium tile to benefit from the horse adjacency and uh, some other um, mines over here to the southwest i do also notice he's gonna have some stone tiles but they're actually quite far in the north uh, towards uh, samarkand now he does have a decent amount of uh, fresh water that he could uh, go for and oh no just Dima disconnected oh no did he actually just uh, forced us uh, all out of the game maybe a different host Okay. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, who won the first game? It, uh, Raccoon, bonsoir, monsieur, bienvenue. It was uh, 12 plus that won the first game. Yes. Give me a second. Mario 
have just followed. Andrade said, hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, can I play a game with you? I don't play that much. Uh, usually when I do play uh, for uh, some coaching uh, sessions or stuff like that. Um, but other than that, I guess we can set up a community game. Uh, there was some uh, chatter over there. Big Z was trying to uh, fix a game over there for the community. So if we can get enough uh, players going, sure, I I'll play. I gladly play. I'll gladly play. Just a second. Trying to get in. host are they talking about a new host or something let me see what are they doing here oh yeah it was a new lobby on i think it's somebody else now give me a second this doesn't look like it's uh, the same guy let me see who actually has the host now um yeah just had a craziest Khmer win recently it was very fun oh very nice very nice what did you do which victory condition did you go for okay oh we got outside actually okay outside is gonna be the host wait does he have actually have i'm just uh okay there we go he does have his uh, profile open up so we can uh, just uh, join from that fine it's fine we're getting in okay so i saw zero ms i uh reload There we go. Loading in. I don't think we have zero MS anymore. Uh, We're getting there. We're getting it. Uh, I always end up with uh, science plus was uh, generating uh, 2800 religion. You mean uh, faith per turn at the end of uh, marathon early in the, the game? Oh my god, man. A 2800 faith a turn with a Khmer. That is amazing. That is amazing. But what turn did you go for, by the way? That, uh, what turn did you actually finish the game? Marathon as well? How much did you take you? Like, did you take you like a week or something to actually finish the game? That's a long game. We always uh, play on the online speed because we just don't have the patience to, to actually go through those uh, normal standards ones. Oh my god, man, that's a long time. That is a long time. Uh, by the way, if you do want to uh, get into the community games, uh, if, and if you have a Discord, you can actually use that um, uh, invite over there, the li invite link uh, to my Discord channel and uh, my Discord server, and uh, you're going to have... Um, uh, get the role channel where you can actually pick up um, uh, community games and with that you can actually uh, easily uh, coordinate with other players so you can get some uh, games going Biggs is doing amazing work over then I gotta say I really hope we're gonna see some games soon uh, play standard speed and issues uh, go uh, 330 to 350 turns whoa 330 to 350 turns that's a long time man that's a long time. I mean, I guess the most we've seen in the games right now, we barely, we barely get to turn 140 or something like that. There's usually some form of victory condition activated uh, before they get to 125 or 130. 
but yeah 330 and 350 turns you got a lot of patience my man a lot of patience a lot of patience it is what it is man it's actually give me a second so i can uh take a quick peek on uh something uh uh, there we go it's all good Uh, not too many, but had all of my series converted, which was crazy. It's my uh, last video streamed. Uh, if you want to take a look. Oh, you're streaming as well. Oh, very nice, man. That's good to know. That's good to know. We got a streamer over here. Hey, content creator. Let me actually give you a follow. Give me a second. Let me give you a follow. There we go. One more follow, guys. Then Andrario is going to get the option to actually become a uh, um, affiliate let's go who's gonna give you the extra follow i i gave him a follow over here and let's let's actually help this guy out thank you so much for joining man let's see shout out a big shout out man big shout out keep on going man. keep on going bro uh andrario give me a second andrario there we go big shout out oh wait not like this uh shout out uh there we go there we go there we go sir it's gonna get his affiliate let's go okay we do have um in the south like xanadu to talk a little bit about uh, since we didn't actually get to see this happening with that we do have uh, xanadu with uh, three sheep tiles and it does look like he's gonna have a decent amount of jade to the northwest uh and also notice he's uh, gonna benefit from a few rivers uh, to give him the bonuses for fresh water to the east to the north and to the south uh that's a decent amount of uh, land that he's gonna get to cover with the uh, cities and we do need to see how he's gonna try to use his um, bonuses a, a lot of culture can be actually acquired from these tiles but unfortunately i don't don't think he's gonna have the option to actually use those um, bonuses from his trade routes uh, this is Kublai Khan China so let me actually put up on the screen over here Kublai Khan uh, wait Kublai Khan Mongolia not China Kublai Khan Kublai not the Vlai Kublai Khan Mongolia so one extra economic policy slot you do get uh, the trading post uh, for the first time in the city center no uh, okay and um, plus one the science and plus one culture for international trade route and that's uh, the thing he's probably not going to use these uh, this bonus but then with the extra economic policy slot in any government i'm pretty sure he's going to be fine and we do have uh, roy over here with a possible second settle on the j tile and i do actually see a very nice open sky for him if he wants to go there uh, one two three four five six uh, seven eight um, culture nine nine culture that he could actually easily acquire uh, so he can get uh, that um, uh, culture going at the mid game mobande is in the the middle of the land here it looks like he's gonna have uh, matterhorn bonuses on the east uh, he does have a plus four uh, campus that he could easily get through and another plus four to the south but that uh, actually to the south does require um bronze working wait a second this is the plus five with the two rainforest tiles uh, he also has uh, multiple other settles that he could go around uh, next to the rivers and uh, we're going to need to see how he's going to try to prioritize getting the settlers going i would actually definitely suggest to go aluminium over here or actually go directly on matterhorn uh, so he can get the early culture going and the extra era score uh, he could actually settle another city to the south uh, in the fourth fifth or something wave and i do see this uh, third city over here could easily be uh, settled but it's across the river so hmm, i'm usually not a fan of that you gotta do what you gotta do in this game though and we do have um uh, him also uh, right next to uh, Scythia, which might be a cause for concern. No, they're actually allies. No cause for concern. Uh, Mubandi is going to get to see him this game. It doesn't look like he's going to have an opponent uh, close to him. And uh, we do have uh, to talk about Scythia now. It looks like he's uh, going to get uh, quite a few horses. Not a lot of them are being clumped up uh, so he can actually put those uh, Kurgans uh, next to them to get more uh, production from those tiles. But he does have a few um, places for his Kurgans anyway. Uh, he does also have a nice mountains a plus five campus over here plus three plus uh, four a uh, very nice uh, uh adjacency for those uh, campuses well we're going to need to see if he's actually going to get cities because to get a city here on the cattle you need to walk all the way around the mountain that's going to be a long time long long time i don't know man that seems like a bit too much uh, at least for my liking 
Uh, he's also going to have a decent amount of uh, fresh water available for him. And uh, I do notice he's going to be to the southwest of uh, Georgia. Uh, Demonar over here is his opponent. They already met each other. As you can see, the scout did meet uh, the Georgian warrior over here across the river. And uh, we do need to see how this is going to go. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We're helping him out. There we go. We got. There we go, Andradio, man. You got how many? How many you got? You got 53 follows. I hope you're actually going to get that um, affiliate link soon. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, that got okay. Uh, good, uh, good evening, sir. And yes, good open sky coming up for um, Roy. Very good open sky. Very nice. Very nice. Um, we do have um, to take a look at uh, Tamar next. Uh, Tbilisi does benefit from a 3 to 1 uh, spy style, and I do see uh, he's also going to have a lot of mountains for his, uh, not only for his uh, campuses, but also for his holy sites. As you can see, he did put uh, the first plus 3 holy site over here to the south of Tbilisi, and I do see a settler coming up in two turns. Uh, he does have a very good second settle over there to the northwest with multiple 2 twos, a lot of uh, uh, placements for his uh, campuses, uh, not to mention a lot of hills. Uh, now, he might have a bit of a problem with food. We're going to need to see how he's actually going to um, uh, settle that. We do have uh, also a, a decent amount of uh, land between him and Hungary. Hungary is his ally, so they might actually want to trade at some point between each other. And they can't actually set up coastal trade routes, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure uh, Georgia is going to have a conflict with his next door neighbor, Scythia. Now, also just learned today that the Scythian were uh, the first people to learn how to ride horses. They uh, struck fear into everyone they came across. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's a good information over there. The first horse riders. The original ones. The OGs of horse riding. Um, uh, and Nemesis also has there uh, ever been a game where both uh, teams just allied to each other and seem peacefully? No. We uh, the, the, You can't do that. As in, you really can't do that. Uh, as in, it's in the rules. You can You cannot do that. Now we do have uh, Buddha with uh, so much culture. He does have one to three tiles uh, that he's gonna get the culture from the silk tiles, and of course, um, wow, 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 wow! I think that's the fastest boat that I have ever seen. Have you seen the numbers just? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man oh my god anyway buddha i guess we're gonna keep on talking about uh, the city of buddha over here which I, I still find extremely funny whenever i say it because you know uh, it actually means toilet in my language uh until then people just use um, them like oxen uh, to pull carts and such they were the first one to use horses as weapons of war oh i see i see well we finished uh, the how many d maps and the by the um, the answer was one we do have uh, a few of you actually getting the points over there. Ali Peiran, good evening, sir. And the five others that got those points. So much culture for the Vladimir. Uh, and so not only he's going to get the extra three culture from the silk tiles, he's also going to get to settle um, a marble tile to receive the extra culture from underneath the settle and uh, the amenity at the same time. And we do have him with uh, multiple other settles to go for. He did settle uh, his city in a place one that he only has one single tile with part of the Daniel bonus, but he can actually get another one here to the southwest which to be honest i wouldn't recommend it at all uh, just because he doesn't have any other two tools easy to acquire maybe the horses and then he's gonna need to buy out the third ring time oh, just thinking of the cost is just not worth it. well he does have pantanal to the west side that he could get some extra science and culture from and uh, we do have him with a lot of um rivers for him to actually settle uh, in the north we do also have uh, just Dima as an ally of his and I'm pretty sure they could set up coastal trade routes of their own over here on the water there's a city state in between them La Venta that uh, they might actually just take over at some point we do need to see how uh, things will evolve over here between them we also have an early pantheon and looks like uh, God of War and Plunder has been picked up by uh, the uh, city of Hungary and uh, we do have a third setter coming up from his side in five turns now uh, we do need to see each of the players uh, early moves and we do need to see how uh, they're gonna get their strategics improved and what kind of um, abilities they're gonna want to use at the beginning i'm pretty sure um, quite a few of them except two of them will want to um, get some sim done uh, so for example georgia and Scythia over here might get to fight each other they will need classical units i'm also sure uh, mongolia might have a bit of a problem with uh, both england and the uh, goal we're going to need to see how he's gonna try to uh, make this um, work over here to try to get everything he needs and uh, if he is uh, gonna want to go to war uh, from an early stage 
Uh, looking at uh, Manchester and Liverpool, looks like um, okay. We got the third setter coming up in two turns. I do uh, at the moment see him uh, expanding his vision to the south. He did meet uh, the Mongolian city, and as you can see, his scout is uh, quite far in the south here. And uh, as you can see, he did uh, get his warrior to the north. I'm not sure if he saw Tingi, even though I'm not expecting him to actually go for Tingi early on. Yes, he did see Tingi. Uh, it's still an option to actually get um, an extra amenity from the salt mine, not to mention the extra science and the culture over there. We do have him with available iron in the third ring to the north, and I do see horses in the second ring of Manchester, relatively easy to acquire, and the horse tile, the iron tile is going to be a bit more expensive. We also have him with um, a Mongolian scout to the east that he cannot see through the fog of war, he's going to need to, um, well, figure it out at some point, and we do need to see if uh, Mongolia might actually get to snatch a settler here, he's trying to get around the cities, and of course, we'll try to uh, snatch... Uh, something a builder a settler get a pillage is something he's gonna try to do some mischief here uh, in the south we do have uh, Mongolia actually fighting off uh, the English scout looks like uh, Roy does uh, put his slingers to work here and uh, one of his scouts is uh, very very low HP he needs to be careful the English scout might actually take him down we do have Urumki settled on that uh, J tile I was talking about earlier he um, is getting his third settler uh, next and from Xanadu is it Xanadu or Xanadu does anybody know over here where, where is uh, Machiavelli when you need him Machiavelli Monsieur Sir, Mister, can you help us out on this one? We do have um, a uh, builder coming up from Urungi, not going for um, the uh, monument over here. Uh, it's Zanadu. Okay, Zanadu. Okay, got it. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So it's Zanadu. Zana, not Xanadu. It's Zanadu. Okay. Uh, well, uh, and anyway, Urumki. I guess we're going to figure out how Urumki is uh, also spelled over there with the U having two points above. I have no idea. Is it U? 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 Or I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, Zanadu or Zanadu. Oh my God! I'm getting confused right now so much information uh, anyway we do have um, strategic resources next to the city of Xanadu slash Xanadu uh, we do have an iron tile in the second uh, ring over here and I do see Urumki did settle next to iron, uh, next to uh, sorry horses he's gonna get that uh, very very quickly in his um, grasp especially with the builder coming up from Urumki well if he's uh, gonna go for open sky he's gonna have a lot of culture coming up uh, from these pastures improved and as you can see he's actually uh, gonna try to forward settle somewhere he does through like this will be the two flat uh, tile the two foot flat tile uh, it's gonna be his uh, choice to go for and uh, by the looks of it he doesn't have a lot of um uh -oh. A lot of uh, things to do over there to protect his uh, settler. I do see a great Mongolian scout next to one of the settlers of Opera 357. Opera 357 is actually not escorting his settler and it does seem like Monsieur Roy might get a free settler over here. Uh-oh. Oh no, he actually moved first. That means Opera 3 uh, so First of all, he's not seeing this. He's not seeing past the forest. I do want to mention... Oh, he's seeing it. How is he seeing... Wait. Oh, oh, the forest, man. He's seeing it. That's a bit of a problem. He saw it. He got exposed. Yeah, and there's the scout. Okay, well... It was what it was. It was what it was. Yeah, that's it, guys. He's, he's, the settler is safe. We do have Atuatuka Samarobriva and Nalanda being taken over. Looks like uh, Congo did help out uh, Gold to take another city over here to the northeast. And we do have a uh, fourth settler coming up from Chaturianin, also going to the northwest of Atuatuka. And I do see a settler coming up from in five turns from uh, that city. He's going to have five cities extremely early over here with just 1017. And we do have uh, Iron next to the city of. Um, uh, the northwest, uh, where he's going to also benefit from some cocoa tiles. Uh, he does have uh, horses in the southeast of Adoatuka, so second ring out and no pantheon yet. We're going to come back after we finish with uh, the strategic resources to take a look at their uh, other choices also. Wait a second, where is he going? Is he actually settling cocoa in a non-freshwater settle? Please come back. Come back to the... La oh, wait, that's too close. That's actually too close to his city. He actually needs to settle cocoa tile. Uh oh. Well, it is what it is. Uh, come on, Michael, read out some great English poetry. 
Uh, wait, what did you say? Can you please share the play of uh, grid? The play of grid? Yes, sir. Uh, play of grid. Also, good evening uh, to Let's Fan channel. Uh, give me a second. It's on the CWC website. Results over here. Uh, there we go. There we go. That's the link, sir. Uh, in Zanadu, did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure? Uh, okay. Okay. It's Zanadu. With Janadu, Janadu, Sanadu, Zanadu. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh yeah. Uh, to the Sans channel. Did you get uh, did you get it? Did you get it, sir? Okay. Oh man. You did it. <laughs> yeah. Now looks like uh, we do have uh, Congo opening up with religious settlements and going for campuses from an early beginnings. He does have a plus six campus over here to the north of uh, Mbata where uh, the volcano did explode and uh, give him some extra tiles to work. Very nice. Now he also has uh, this uh, plus uh, three over here, a campus uh, next to Kabasa. He could have actually put a plus four. I have no idea why. Uh, plus five actually. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why he didn't place the plus five over here in the north. Why? Does anybody know why? Because I'm pretty sure he saw the numbers, right? Why, why did he not go for it? Check. Anyway, it is what it is, man. I just googled it. It's actually Shangdu. Wait, really? Zanadu is Shangdu? Let me see. Translate. Detect language. Zanadu. Wow. Okay, I'm getting confused right now. Google Translate is saying, is saying that uh, Xanadu is actually translated from Somali in Romanian as a cell, as a like. Yeah, sell. Kek. <laughs> but let me actually switch to Mongolian or something. Do we have Mongolian over here? Uh, Mongolian. Yes, we do. What is it? Oh, it doesn't let me listen. Oh, no. It doesn't let me listen. Anyway, I guess it is what it is. Anatu, uh, Mongolia, Siri. Uh... And how do you spell it? Uh, like, how do you read it aloud? Wait, it has it has to have the spelling, right? The sounds. Why don't why don't is in blah, 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 blah. why doesn't it give us the sounds? Oh, actually, sorry, it's a uh, Xenedu, Xenedu. If I read this correctly, it's uh, Zen Zenedu. Not uh, Shangdu, it's Zenedu. Zain, ze, Zainedu, Zainedu. It's an A, uh, A E uh, inverted. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. So, there we go. Over here. Look. More. More. Over here. There. Zanedu. 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 There we go. It depends which action is spoken right now. Fine enough. You share a name with the best Romanian poet. Wait, I, I do? Kick. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Eminescu. Yeah, of course. I mean, I uh, I share a name with uh, also, um, I guess, uh, Mihai Vitazu and so on. But Zanedu. Okay, we're, we're going to fix this, guys. We're going to fix this. Um, yeah, I, I guess in uh, Romania we do have uh, common names uh, being uh, first uh, first names. I guess uh, being um, quite common because we do have uh, usually the families wanting to name their uh, children after uh, uh, religious. I would say names. Uh, and so on. Some families now did actually go very 
outside of the box over there and there are like some weird names going around but anyway i'm not going to comment more than that it is their open choice and it is what it is now we do have uh, initiation rights coming up from Scythia. It looks like uh, he's going to get also his campuses going with some Kurgans. Uh, and uh, I do see, of course, he's going to have a lot of adjacency here. Plus four campus and plus uh, three campus uh, in between his two early cities. He does have another set going um, right now. Comes from Sky between that river bend. And uh, we do see him uh, able to actually follow Central Georgia if he wants to. I do have to say that uh, he's um, uh, going to put up a defense in flat ball terrain over here against Georgia. And that will. Um, uh, take away from uh, Georgia the ability to use that uh, plus seven of the capsules. Now, Georgia still has uh, nice um, uh, hills to defend behind, and we're going to see you know, how this is going to play out between them. They are opponents and they're going to go against each other. Um, uh, who won first uh, game? It was 12 plus. Now, also, to left sand channel, did you get the link? Uh, did you see the link? I don't know if you were on the channel when I shared the link, but uh, I can share it again if you uh, need me. Uh, we do have uh, also Bokovka um, benefiting from horses uh, to the southeast of uh, that city center. But next to Pazeri, he has another horse style. And I do see Iron in the second ring of his second city over there. Yes, with much pleasure, sir. Now, uh, also, it's, it was a hell of a game. Yes, it was. Um, we do need to take a look at uh, Tamari really quickly, finishing up his uh, holy sites. He's going to start acquiring uh, the faith and the points for the prophets. He's actually the first and probably the only one that's going to get the religion uh, from uh, holy sites in the game here. Now we do have uh, Rustavi also being settled to the east side and I do see he's already working on his tickets from his city centers so he starts acquiring the um, face generation from them not to mention uh, that early culture which is quite important he did manage to get the builder out and he's going to start improving the tiles around for the stone tile for the sheep tile and I'm pretty sure he needs to improve the horses as well so he gets um, the strategic resource acquired in his uh, city center from an earlier stage. His uh, iron tile, unfortunately, is three tiles out from Tbilisi. He's going to need to either put a city next to it or um, buy out that tile. And that's uh, 25 plus 35 gold. That's a bit expensive in my book. Uh, well, we have another uh, nuke fest. Yes, let's hope so. Oh my god. Nuke, 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 nuke. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, yes, 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 let's go. <laughs> True grit also. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And uh, we do have. Um, uh, to take a look also on uh, Hungary, we do have him with that God of War and Plunder uh, Pantheon. He did improve his uh, horses, I do see from Debrecen, and he did actually put Estergom over here to the southwest. That is such a bad city. Oh my god. Anyway, he's, uh, he does have Iron next to that city center in the second ring, and um, I do see Buda benefits from Island in the third ring also. Uh, we can put another city over here to the northwest of Buda, and I'm pretty sure he's uh, going to want to improve these uh, silk tiles so relatively early on. Uh, he is uh, to get the extra amount this and of course because he has so many of these he can actually give up uh, give a few of them away to his allies so they can actually benefit from um uh, from them uh, looking at the tech side over here i do want to check uh, what he's doing looks like he's going for currency in 11 not actually discovering um uh, irrigation first that i think might be a mistake uh but you're gonna he's gonna see that uh, very late in the game uh the tempo that he could have gotten to his allies uh, would have mattered quite a bit uh, giving away these amenities it's very very important uh we do have him uh also to the south of uh, england right england did go for god of the sea as a pantheon and uh, i do see him uh, getting a few more builders out he already has some fish tiles improved and he did improve his horse style in the city of london now uh, by the looks of it he's uh, using the bananas to get some extra food in alongside that uh, 431 fish tile uh, he has iron next to the city of leeds in the second ring and he did not get his third settler yet or at least i don't see it oh i see it it's actually uh, going further in the south across the rivers uh, to get to the, to the other river and uh, get this going uh, that's probably going to be the last city he's going to put in the south while he does have another uh, one city to the north not a lot of uh, cities for him to develop on on the coast he still has some inland settles that he could go for a relatively okayish um yeah he's, he's gonna be fine he's still gonna get like seven to nine cities over here by the looks of it with the possibility of uh, taking at some point a laventa we're going to need to see he's uh, gonna get to chop some horses and attack his opponents with them um let me see rip uh, mongolia looks like he's uh, he's doomed well not doomed at the moment we're going to need to see if uh, opera 357 is going to do something and of course we're going to need to see how goal is going to want to play this uh you do see the encampments coming around from mongolia he's setting himself up for um, early warfare 
transfer while his opponents at the moment are not doing so uh, this uh, might become a problem for uh, goal and uh, for England especially if Mongolia just wants to send wave after wave of units against his uh, opponents I do want to uh, put up the prediction because we're uh, coming to uh, an end with the early uh, analysis of the game over here so let's actually put up uh, who will win on one side we do have forever young and on the other side we do have 12 uh, plus let's see submission period let's put it for 30 minutes start prediction got it got it good uh you can uh, use your points uh, to actually get more channel points uh, correctly predicting the outcome of this game and uh, we do have uh, quite a few ones uh, one uh, some of you that uh, did get to acquire so many points using this mechanic uh, uh looks like he's doing uh, england and mongol on the same continent uh, england and mongol yes they are on the same continent uh, England uh, cannot use his uh, red coat if uh, that's what you are uh, asking about. Uh, we do have a fifth setter coming up from Shaturianin. You see he already got uh, his three cities with uh, taking over Nalanda. Got the Divine Spark and uh, it, by the looks of it he's actually going to set another city over there on the Kokota to the north. Unfortunately Tervana over here is in non-freshwater setting and uh, he's barely growing into the second population. We're going to need to see how he's going to try to fix that. Um, I do also want to put the team labels on the screen over here. That's something that uh, for some reason I actually forgot a lot of the times in the previous stream. So let me actually put it uh, over here. Forever young. Forever young. Okay, then we'll go on the left side. And we do have a 12 plus on the right side of the screen. And uh, looking at that um, uh, position of the teams over here, we've got just Dima with Dimona, Roy and Vladimir uh, showing up for forever young. Young outside Nylock uh, Shaturian and, and Opera 357 on um, a 12 plus. Now we do also need to take a look at the oh my god, look at Mongolia go with the culture. He's a uh, six science and nine culture already. He did manage to get uh, the twin camels pre placed. He's going for the fifth and uh, the fourth and the fifth settler over here. And he did get uh, the patches with the culture one, two, three, four, five. Uh, didn't actually build a lot of monuments. He's getting uh, one from Mulan Batar next. And I do see him uh, working uh, Mongolia in the city of. Uh, San Edu, San Edu, San Edu, San Edu, actually, San Edu, I believe. Well, I'm it's going to take me a while to actually get that going. Uh, Tanhouse, good evening, sir. I mean, Mongolia came into uh, the game with a plan. Make units, fight early, Iran war into somebody if needed. So his position might be the best, but save uh, to be in uh, the best if to be in that position. I guess so. I guess so. I think Cynthia would have been a little bit uh, happier with this position. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine with uh, him as well. We're going to need to see what he's going to do here with his uh, units to go against his opponent. Of course, uh, being Kublai Khan, Mongolia, you do get uh, the ability to... Uh, uh, get some cash eggs going so you know that might actually become a problem for his opponents you know just cash eggs running around and uh, stomping opponents it's always a bad thing now we do have fertility rights coming up for uh, england he just got uh, his horse style improved getting uh, the benefits of uh, that extra production point that he gets over there with a 2-4 a tile is uh, working pingala in the city of uh, manchester and i do see a four setter coming up from um, his capital city importance uh, he also has uh, some improvements on the coast here and and of course, with um, uh, fertility, he's going to get extra bonuses. Uh, food on his wheat tiles, rice tiles, uh, cattle tiles, um, and uh, maize tiles. Uh, we do have uh, Newcastle upon Tyne also placed uh, in between his cities and goal. And uh, he's getting uh, the defense going between Liverpool and Newcastle upon Tyne. He's probably going to need to get uh, stronger defense, though, uh, when, uh, of course, uh, Mongolia is going to come uh, charging through. He needs to be careful um, to also get his strategic units uh, with uh, enough strategic resources. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want a strong economy going for a celestial navigation wait Celest yeah celestial navigation from both england's now there's also i gotta say there is uh, i would say actually opera 357 is in a much weaker position than we do have uh, for example over here in um uh, just dima because just dima can just go for the uh, caravels uh, and uh, try to get them at the correct timing and then go towards uh, the cities of opera 357 and take them away from him especially 
actually his capital in the city of Liverpool, uh, letting uh, Newcastle upon time to be taken by uh, Kublai Khan Mongolia. That is a problem for uh, their side for 12 plus that they need to somehow fix. They, uh, for example, goal over here will probably need to try to take away all of the attention of Mongolia and uh, not allow um, England to build that many defensive units on land so he does get to um, fully um, uh, focus on his uh, naval power uh, also steam big is in worse position i would say uh, than mongolia yes yes very very much worse oh my god we're thinking a lot man look at that man uh, but pikeman can easily make him uh, irrel well we're going to, need to see if the pikeman were actually going to do that uh, we do have uh, 10 26 we're going to need to take a look at the uh, city states in the game looks like uh, volin with a uh, cat are going to be the ones providing some military bonuses we do have uh, buenos aires uh, hong kong mexico city and johannesburg coming up for them when it comes to uh, uh, industry um we also have Namadol with Vilnius uh, for the culture. There was one single uh, science city state in the game that was Nalanda and it got taken over by goal with some uh, help from the, um, the scouts of Mbande. Uh, we also have Lavenda with Jerusalem for the religious bonuses and it does look like we're going to have Samarkand as the only one in the game for trade bonuses. That's going to be to the north of um, uh, Gaul over here in uh, uh, a coastal setup you know uh, yeah okay we got some uh, opidums uh, starting to uh, be pumped out from tervana looks like uh, that's gonna be a plus uh, two over here and another plus a uh, possible plus four when he's gonna get his uh, two quarries improved uh, we do have uh, duatuka putting down the first encampment from their side and uh, no uh, opidum yet he might actually be uh, in a bit of trouble over here unfortunately if he doesn't get his uh uh, cover on plants he doesn't have a lot of food generation in the city nor does it have a lot of population uh, it needs to be careful about the thresholds he's uh, starting to build up those districts and especially um, since he did put up an encampment first well that's going to cause a bit of a problem uh, we do have uh, also congo going for a temenaki in the city of uh, mbanza congo to the west of his capital and i do see it's uh, going to be built in 20 turns uh, it, uh, he also placed down the first commercials after he got a wave of um, uh, districts over here four science campuses a plus six campus and another plus uh, three i still don't understand why he did not actually place the plus five uh, maybe he just didn't have the gold that might be a possibility he didn't have the gold to get the plus five going over there but yeah it is what it is he is lacking uh, these a lot of science if he uh, went for this anyway and we do have religious settlements as a pantheon for him he's uh, gonna get to expand cities with um, ease over here not only acquiring more tiles whenever he's gonna settle a city but also gonna get uh, more production towards settlers uh, to um pump this faster from his city center unfortunately he didn't actually go for that matter where settle i was talking about on the east side even though uh, it would have um, put him uh, very very close to Scythia. they could actually set up coastal trade routes here oh my god they could set up coastal trade routes like get a city here and then uh, make a city here and put a city on the wheat tile they could set up coastal trade routes anyway uh, we will need to see how this is going to evolve over here there's another setter coming up from kabasa they might have not even seen matterhorn to be honest did they see Matterhorn? They did see it. Okay, they did see it. It's fine. It's fine. Now, Matterhorn as a bonus, as a wonder, does give you uh, no more penalty. It gives you the ability to ignore heals uh, for the rest of the game. So you don't have a penalty from that. Whoa, I have completed a quest for the city, the great city of Mexico City, and earned a reward plus one envoy. How did I get that? And why did I? What? anyway it is what it is we got the horses early horses coming up from uh, Cynthia he is uh, gonna use um, his uh, production ability to acquire more faith um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to also settle a few more of these uh, Kurgan so not only he gets uh, the production going from those tiles but also the faith and the gold and I do see in camera training project coming up from Pokrovka uh, this is a must on Georgia as well to get um, defensive uh, unit over there why do I see uh, I'm researching horseback riding and state workforce. Hello? Game? Am I in the game? Whoa. Uh, can we see England versus England naval? We will see England versus England naval. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't control what they're going to do, but I'm pretty sure at some point they're going to have this idea. 
Now, well, let's see. Tamara over here going to get the God of the Forge. So he's aware that he's going to need to put up a defense against the Scythia. And he wants the extra production uh, towards his um, ancient and classical units. We do have uh, some Slingers coming out from the city of uh, Akalka Lucky. And I do see uh, Moksha coming up over here in Tbilisi. Establishing in one turn to give him that extra much needed uh, culture. And a little bit of faith. Um, he didn't actually finish up his uh, holy sites with shrines and temples. And I do see him slowly acquiring the great profit points it's very surprising to me that we don't actually have anybody actually acquiring merchant points at this uh, point in the game usually you do have somebody uh, putting a lot of uh, commercials okay there we go we actually have hungry uh, that's uh, gonna start to acquire those uh, points uh, next time with uh, the first um, commercial hubs finishing up uh, in this turn and we do have another one getting in uh, the city of Buda. Estergom is gonna build another one and uh, Sejet is gonna build another one in seven uh, looks like also he went for minus internals over here for, you know, through the city of Bura and he still has a lot of problems in Estergom with the production that he has available. To be honest, he might just want to spend the gold over there. And there's just uh, a massive difference of gold between the two teams. If you take a look at the gold um, acquired by turn, we do have 12 plus on 14, 12, 15 and 7, while on Forever Young we got 10, 2, 3 and 8. There's just not a lot of gold to go around on their side. Now we do have... Um, also, Roy, uh, about to for settle a goal over here, uh, going to the north of Urumki. And I do see he's uh, getting a builder from Ulaanbaatar, uh, while the city of uh, Xanedu is um, going to get an encampment training project in two turns. Uh, they're starting to go quite quickly through these uh, general points uh, so they can acquire uh, the early bonuses that they need uh, to use for their units. Uh, looking at the faith acquirement over here, outside is on a seven faith a turn on Scythia, and I do see him uh, putting in uh, the... Um, the maneuver card so he gets uh, the half production uh, horses and uh, as you can see over here he does have uh, some of these uh, resources improved uh some of his um, luxury resources improved so he gets that uh, nice uh, amenity going into his city i don't think he's plus three no he's not he's not too much Looking at the era score here, we got everybody going over the threshold necessary to go for the Golden Age 32, 30, 27, 26, 36, 23, 29, and 27 points. Uh, we do also see um, we got England over here uh, to the north of uh, Hungary, placing his fourth city down. And uh, we do have him uh, getting a few free galleys uh, from his side and going for internal traders with Magnus, establishing the city of London. Uh, he could, uh, he will try to get another city over here to the north, and we're going to need to see if uh, Johannesburg is uh, going to be an option. Uh, Hungary at the moment with uh, Vladimir, he's um, uh, not having the vision over the full map. He's going to need to discover the city-states and uh, see if he has an opportunity to go against his opponents. Uh, Congo or uh, Gol over here to help out uh, Mongolia do some damage. Uh, remember there was also Samarkand that he never actually found that could actually apply pressure from the north of these um, uh, empires. And it's very, very close uh, to the city of uh, Bagakum over here from... Um, from Bo Gol. Uh, we do have a lot of production coming up from Gol already uh, by the looks of it, uh, looking at uh, Gol, we do have him on 61 production. He's, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, oh my god, that's a lot of production. Actually, more than uh, like, it's double the production of, for example, in Zinga Mubande. Uh, I don't know what, for what reason. Uh, Nylok over here did not actually want to get his 4th and 5th settler out quickly. And, uh, and only has one single trade route. So, wait. He chose to go for Governor Magnus, but then went external towards Mexico City. Uh, okay, this is a bit of a problem. Wait, Roy actually levied Jerusalem? Whoa, he actually levied a city? Okay, interesting. Uh, and finally, we do have Nilo going for that Matterhorn City. So low city count over here and uh, low production. He does have uh, 17 science with 9 culture. Unfortunately, that will also make uh, his districts uh, much uh, more um, expensive while he's going to discover more technologies and more civics. Uh, the cost per district will actually rise. And we do have encampment training projects coming up from Adua Tuka. And yes, he does want to get his um, general as well. While Mongolia did get his project in, we did only have one single general recruited. There are four in the first era and we're going to need to see 
see what's uh, gonna happen over here uh hungary got a coastal city so eventually that is gold fixed with the trade route yes he got the city of pex over here um and it does look like uh, uh england is uh, gonna discover this uh, land or i should say the coast uh, at some point we're gonna have those trade routes just uh passing through the water to get from one another and a fifi bonsoir monsieur bienvenue uh, it seems he goes uh, in the game goes smoothly yeah slowly slowly we're getting there man we got some issues at the beginning i hope they're gonna be fixed now Mm, uh, what is the gold difference between land and sea trade routes so on the sea trade routes you do get uh, more uh, uh, more gold uh, per each water tile uh, that you get to cover okay we got a fourth settler coming up from uh, tbilisi looks like uh, we got some spearmen coming from akal uh, Kalaki, and it does seem like uh, Scythia is actually going to favor to go and take uh, vilius first uh, rather than go against his opponent georgia we do have uh, so many horses coming out around from his cities he's putting down his uh, government plaza over here uh, to the west of pokrov and uh, north of pazirik that's not actually from his capital he did not go uh, magnus internal so i guess he doesn't care that much about it uh, we do have him also uh, with a trader over here from getting um, back into his city center because he just declared war on Phineas and he's going to want to take that over. We did pass into the classical era, so we're going to need to take a look at their golden age bonuses so we get to talk a little bit what uh, they are going for. Just Dima, for example, is going to go for his um, penbrush and voice golden age. He's uh, still trying to beef up his production capabilities. Eight science with 19 culture. Next time he's going to discover writing, so he's going to have the ability to put down some uh, campuses. Uh, doesn't have a lot of good ones though uh, even though he does have some mountains next to the city of Leeds we do need to see how he's gonna try to mix those bonuses in and we do have also a demonar here with uh, monumentality gold ridge in the first one 39 faith attorney 11 science with 19 culture he's uh, still on three cities gonna get his fourth one soon uh, and it looks like he's gonna be somewhere over here in the south uh, and I do see his uh, plug-in Pingala over here in the uh, city of Al -Kal uh, Akal Kalaki uh, to get um, the extra science going he then Never put a uh, in camel down that might uh, that does deny him the ability to go for a general unless uh well his opponents are gonna be slacking and uh, not actually uh, get the projects in we do have uh, roy also with uh, eight science and 19 culture we do have uh, kublai khan mongolia as uh, getting uh, his uh, cities right in the face of goal uh, while uh, he's uh, getting another in camel pro training project from urumki he's gonna try to you know secure his general over here he's at the moment 21 out of 30 points uh, goal is gonna get a, uh, an in camel training project in aduatuka in two turns as well so both of them are actually trying to secure this uh, we do have a pillage over here in the south of urumki denying him the extra production and the culture from the sheep tile that's a bit unfortunate and uh, i do see the first orders uh, the unique uh, building that uh, the incumbents are going to benefit from uh, getting uh, built over here in the mongolian cities okay hannibal balka got recruited we got uh, vilius uh, taken over already by uh, outside he didn't manage to get the fourth city quite quickly uh, he could get the fifth one though and um, from what i do see he's uh, sending his sources uh, relatively early to georgia neither of them wanting to settle in each other's face to be honest uh, but uh, i think there was quite a bit of value for um, uh, georgia to actually settle a city over here somewhere so he denies uh, the opportunity of scythia settling but anyway i guess uh, that would have been a bit too much uh, he wants to use the heal bonus than any rather than anything else i i guess i understand him it is what it is uh, vladimir penbash and voice nine science and 19 culture 19 gold the 10 48 production and i do see him um, with uh, the traders uh, the extra traders coming out from his cities he did finish his um, commercials uh, next to his uh, initial settles and i do see gavron plaza did get uh, to be for both of those uh, next to estergom and bura now i still did not improve his um, uh, amenities though like his uh, luxury resources would have really hoped that we're gonna see this happening anyway he did grow into the iron tile to the northwest that he's gonna need to improve and i do see uh, with his fifth series he's uh, going max maximum commercials over here to try to get the bonuses of gold for his teammates we do have uh, Tomeris with uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age in the first wave. Uh, he's uh, not going for the normal monumentality. I do have to point out 16 science, 24 culture, and uh, he does have 42 production. Usually when players do go for initiation rights as a pantheon, they do want to use that extra faith they're acquiring from uh, the production of the horses uh, or the units actually he's building in his um, uh, empire to try to get a good monumentality going because sometimes you don't actually have... Uh, 
the production necessary for both sides uh, getting settlers uh, and builders and at the same time worrying your opponents and we gotta try to balance that out somehow and um, the middle way was to actually go for a monumentality that of course would have taken away quite a bit of uh, culture from him and gold uh, so he chose uh, not to go that way we do have a uh, Nylock on 19 science and 14 culture at the moment uh, he's still very weak when it comes to the production capabilities only 40 gold a turn he did manage to settle Matterhorn but unfortunately he settled in such a way that yes he's gonna get fresh water not that it mattered anyway that was the lake uh, but uh, it denied the opportunity of Scythia to actually get a coastal city over here uh, on, on that same lake and try to get the connections uh, for the traders between them uh, that would have been uh, very important for their economic uh, power. Uh, Mubanza is also going to finish at Temenaki in six turns, giving him a boost in production and um, science at the same time. Uh, he still has religious settlements, and I, I'm very confused how he doesn't have more cities over here, to be honest, especially with religious settlements. Now, he's trying to fight also a levy Mongolian warrior here. Interesting. Uh, Moksha establishing in the city of Mbanza Mubata, and we do have a uh, first horse uh, coming around over there from that city center. Um, Pembrush and Voice Golden Age for him, by the way. And Russian voice. Uh, Shaturianin uh, gonna go for Masonry, gonna go for Drama and Poetry, Pen Russian voice, Golden Age, 2 for 5 cities, a lot of production capability coming up from uh, Shaturianin, 66 production with 13 science, 23 uh, culture. Uh, he's actually gonna get to push Mongolia fast enough because, yes, even if Roy got the cities, got the units, got the culture, and so on from an earlier stage, he didn't actually get units. You know, got the general, but didn't actually get units. This is a bit, uh, a bit uh, problematic over here. I don't see Georgia making actually twenty out of thirty points. Hello. Oh, he got the. Okay, so he's uh, he's gonna get the general. Check this out. He actually chopped. Uh, he got his monumentality golden age, and then he chopped uh, the encampment down, and then he's chopping the encampment training projects. He just needs one more turn uh, to recruit one of the generals, and it looks like uh, somebody is gonna get. No, everybody's gonna get the general. Every Everybody's gonna get the journal. He's fine. He's really fine. He's fine. We do need to see what the Scythian units will do over here, how they're gonna try to get. I do have to say, uh, Tamar cities are very hard to actually uh, get to just because of their extra fortification health that they do get from the Tikes, and uh, of course, the fast uh, build time that you get for the Tikes as well. Now, we do have uh, Opera 357, 14 science, and 18 culture, pen, brush, and voice, golden age on uh, four cities, uh, England here. Uh, audience chamber as his uh, choice of uh, specializing building in the Gavron Plaza, and it does look like he's getting an encampment from Newcastle. Upon time, unfortunately, that uh, will not actually give him a general for this type of era. He's gonna need uh, to get the general a little bit later. Uh, Austrian Wrangler, hello there, sir. Uh, it was 12 plus that one yesterday. Uh, Janus, also why City a horse rushing Tamar. What is this uh, badge over here? Hello there, sir. Janus. Oh my god, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. City is doing City things. What can I say? We're gonna need to see how uh, he's gonna do against Georgia. We got the multiple Saka horse that is coming up from his cities. He's finishing up Wolo's throne here from Pazirik. And I do see outside he's trying to get to um, uh, stirrups. He got a first heavy chariot over here. Is he just going to keep on buying these? I'm a bit surprised about two things. First of all, I would have expected a few more Kurgans, especially after their buff. And uh, second of all, I would have expected at least one more settle over here towards uh, Georgia uh, on that May style. I guess uh, that's not going to happen. Now, we do have uh, the, uh, the Scythian uh, horses that are going to need to go through the Georgian defenses. And it does look like, of course, uh, we will need to see Demonar try to play this out accordingly uh john the baptist the great prophet is uh, gonna give him the ability to uh, establish the first religion in the game and uh, we're going to need to see if um, his uh, uh, beliefs are going to be the ones that we're expecting we're expecting um a jesuit education with papal primacy uh what was the buff i think i believe it was uh plus uh, one uh, faith on the Kurgans, if I'm not mistaken. Let me actually uh, double check this because uh, I have uh, doubts in my head. And, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Give me a second. Uh, Kurgan. Uh, so, Scythian Kurgan gain plus two faith base from plus one. So, it's plus one uh, faith on uh, the base. 
Uh, good luck if he gets Defender. Yeah, the Defender will totally nullify any attack from uh, Scythia for quite some time now. I mean, I, I guess he's, he's still gonna get some um, uh, damage with his uh, Saka Horse, such as some experience on these units, and that's about it. But anyway, yeah, it's it's gonna be hard. Like, uh, th these walls are insanely strong. Um... Okay, what do we have here? Uh, we did uh, see everything. Kublai Khan. I think Kublai Khan is uh, the most uh, problematic one here. Like, I, I don't see Scythia doing that much uh, against Tamar, but I think actually Gold can do a lot to Mongolia, especially if he does manage to get uh, two mana times quickly enough. It uh, looks like uh, Shaturanin is going to discover currency in two turns, and uh, we do have games and wreck in two as well. Uh, by the looks of it, he did manage to get Isodor of Miletus as the first um, great uh, engineer. Remember, uh, with um, the Gallic Opidums, you do start to acquire these engineers from an early stage. He did choose to go for Divine Spark, so he's getting more points from each of those uh, Opidums. And uh, we do have uh, in the uh, great scientist uh, screen congo actually able to acquire Aryabata. i did not see hypatia yet uh, and i do see hungary did manage to acquire zankian for an extra trade out capacity that's pretty good uh, he's also gonna get the next one for uh, coleus for the extra uh, copy of luxury and i do see him going for audience chamber in the city of buddha oh man buddha buddha Hey, you gotta go to Buddha. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's... Mm. you know, um, he just uh, queued a settler. He did, he did. He's getting it. He's getting it. Okay, so I was I was expecting it earlier. I'm sorry. I, I guess I needed to be a bit more specific about this. I was definitely expecting this earlier. Yeah, Wallace Throne is going to finish in two turns. And uh, by looks of it, he does have a few uh, builders. Uh, I should say, a, yeah, a few builders. One in the north and one in the south. He's starting to improve his um, uh, amenities over here. His uh, cotton tile. I do see his uh, citrus. So he has two improved. Uh, he is three improved with the spice tiles uh, next to the city of Vilnius. And he's going to get... Uh, fourth one uh, as in the form of the amber he's uh, gonna need to discover sailing to actually get this one improved but that's still gonna be nice for him extra um boost in the happiness level and extra 10% across the board is always nice. We do have uh, some Congo units also coming around here from uh, Nylok. It looks like uh, Ancestral Hall coming up in 3 turns from the city of Kabasa. He put his Gavran Plaza in between Mbata and uh, Kabasa and I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to use the GCC bonuses toward, more towards um, industrial zone setup and maybe some theater squares rather than any, anything else uh, and Banza Congo is gonna finish that at the Menanke two turns and uh, unfortunately for him he's still at the lowest in uh, the game with the production 43 next up is actually Opera 357 with 45 on a uh, 16 science and 28 culture while uh, Nilok is on 19 and 22 uh, looking at uh, what's going on over here Mongolia is uh, getting these uh, defensive units uh, in the city of Korakoto I do see a uh, goal is putting a few swordsmen on the front line there uh, using some archers and uh, he's still waiting for great engineer uh, isodor to do something i'm a bit uh, surprised he didn't try to get uh, like something like um hanging gardens which i think would have been uh, quite important for goal mostly for the housing and at the same time for the extra for, uh, growth that you get in your cities remember uh, goal does have a bit of a problem before and because he actually needs to put his opinions from an early stage he doesn't have a lot of uh, slots available uh, because of the population thresholds to get districts which uh, does pose a bit of a challenge you do need to, to get a lot of food you do need to get a lot of housing in your cities uh, alongside that production so you can make up for that early district that you put and benefit from uh, so um, it's not uncommon to actually see gold go for the uh, audience chamber and use the extra housing that you get from um uh, uh, I would say from these governors it's not uncommon for him to actually go for uh, something like even irrigation rights and uh, put a lot of farms on his um, uh, cities over here on his uh, uh, resources and also go for something like hanging gardens to give you that boost uh, if he can get something like a temple of Artemis in the capital that's amazing uh, I'm surprised about that super random theater square uh, rather than campus in uh, in this yeah yeah this this is actually surprising indeed he did manage to get his 
Heaven Blood's over here to beef up one of his OP Dooms. That's a plus five. And as you can see, he's getting more settlers from the northern cities. Um, might actually go for one over here somewhere. Oh my god, another non fresh water city. Because he definitely wants this style to be the OP Doom. So where is he gonna place it? Is he gonna place it coastally? I'm pretty sure he just wants he wants more cities. Is this gonna be another non fresh water? Kind of looks like it, right? You get one here, you get another one here. Anyway, I guess uh, a city count mid maxing might be a problem. Whoa, Gold actually got two generals. Let's wait a second. If he got two generals, somebody remained without a general. Who remained? So, Mongolia got one, Scythia got one. Oh, oh, I see. Tamar didn't get one. That's pretty good. That is amazing. Tamar did not get a general. Okay. I mean, that's that's a pretty good strategy over here to deny him the, the general. I didn't realize he could actually pump out so many uh, projects so fast. Uh, let's see. Also, to greet the useless information of the day, Bologna is just holding pancakes. <gasps> we need to get to Bologna. Oh, my God. Pancakes, bro. Oh, yes. Give me the pancakes. Now, also, Rafifi, they took it in uh, 1453, if I'm not wrong. It's one of the dates uh, that marked the beginning of the Renaissance era with the discovery of America, the invention of uh, printing, and the end of the uh, Reconquista. Uh, what, what is that? Reconquista. I don't know what it is. Reconquista. Uh, Reconquest is a period of the series of Iberian Peninsula spanning approximately 170 years between the initial Umayyad uh, conquest of Hispania uh, in the 710, uh, 710s uh, and the fall of the Emirate of Granada, the last uh, Islamic state of the peninsula to expanding Christian kingdoms. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, learn something new today. Now, there was a third one. Where was the third one? Tamar didn't get a general, but did get a prophet and a religion. Yes, actually, let's take a look at the religion. We got Jesuit education and uh, him giving up on papal primacy. He went defender of the faith. And we might see him uh, get at some point something like Stonehenge. He can actually build some Stonehenge over here, over here from uh, Akalkalaki uh, next to that uh, stone tile. Not bad, not bad. We're going to see when he's, um, he's going to get to build it, though. Uh, we do have also campus coming up from Tbilisi he got his uh, fourth settler down over here Tikin Valley to the south and I do see he's putting down a theater squares and um, a plus four campus next to Rustavi what is this one this is a plus four the plus three at the moment okay plus three uh, two mountains and one Gavron Plaza uh, in Al a Kal Kalaki, he also will have a plus a five campus. He just needs to buy all those tiles. And looking at the gold generation over here, he's not doing well. He's on 23 science, 28 culture, but minus four in his uh, gold generation. He does have 62 production with 48 faith. And uh, that's uh, considered to be better than uh, outside's 57 and uh, only eight faith a turn. Uh, we do have also uh, some Scythian units actually uh, going towards uh, the city of Tsikin Valley. And uh, I do see him actually sending a settler over here. Is he actually going Gonna settle on the same lake of his opponent is he gonna try to bank that city center with some boats over here oh outside <laughs> you nasty nasty oh man oh man he's actually gonna do that we do have um, also markets coming up from Komstromskaya. i do see settlers coming up from pokrovka another one he's gonna go for the sixth city and uh, we do need to see what uh, hunger is gonna do over here to make up for the gold he's already on 41 gold a turn uh, England is putting a city over here to the northeast of him, and I do see uh, him finishing up multiple uh, merch, uh, multiple uh, markets in his uh, commercial cities. Uh, he also he already has uh, 11.5 green merchant points with 1.1 on Scythia. He's the one that's gonna get all of these merchants from an early stage of the game. He did manage to acquire Coleus with Marcus Licinius Crassus. He did also manage to get the Zankian, and I'm pretty sure Scythia is just not gonna have the power, the ability, the strength and the faith to get one of those and we do have uh, fertility rights coming up from opera 357 uh, lighthouses coming around from him so he can uh, get those trade routes going at uh, the first campus in liverpool that's going to be a plus a four using the gcc of a Gavro plaza and the reef tile next to that city center i do see another campus being built in newcastle upon Tyne, being a plus uh, what a three plus three yeah, that's a plus three. Now, we do need to see when he's going to get to seven pop over here in the city of Manchester. And where is he going to place uh, and what kind of district he's going to have here? I'm 
pretty sure he can get a plus two, no problems. I, and I do have to point out he should actually keep, uh, the, for example, the banana tile for his industrial zone rather than anything else. Mm, we'll see. We'll see how this evolves. Uh, we do have uh, actually just Dima with uh, 20 science and 30 culture, not uh, that bigger than Opera 357 at the moment. Both of them are free in golden age of a free uh, of a penbrush and voice, but we do have England starting to acquire a lot of great animals. Uh, this will give him an advantage when actually uh, fighting on in the renaissance era now we do have actually uh, just dima making 9.2 great animal points at 10 while uh, victoria age of steam is only making three we do have uh, campuses coming out from the city of leeds it looks like he's getting uh, harbor shipping projects to uh, improve that uh, chance of uh, acquiring all of these uh, from an early stage and i do see just dima rushing as fast as possible towards caravels they need to be careful with uh, the gold generation here Whoa, true great. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated, sir. We do have true. Oh my god, Duke the Sand Trooper. Hello there, sir. Buckeye guy 15. Hello there, sir. Strato. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, joining the dreamers over here. We do have also Ascoto. Hello there, sir. And good evening, Ricky Maru. Hello, hello there, sir. Um, oh my god, thank you so much, true great. Much appreciated, sir. Uh, Lipe Iran, oh, hello there sir, good evening, good evening, uh, and oh my god, thank you so much man, thank you so much. Uh, we do need to take a look how this um, uh, Victorian uh, science is gonna just jump up in the air over here with his finishing of campuses next to his uh, Capron Plaza, and at the same time his mountains, we do have a plus 3 over here, and a plus uh, 2 uh, next to the city of London, and uh, it does look like he's uh, getting his galleys as close as possible to his cities, and uh, putting them of course, uh, is, uh, I should say, keeping them for the cannibals the thing is if you do not get the mercenaries you need to upgrade these uh, cannibals with 180 gold that's a lot of gold that you need to put into one single boat one single unit if you do get mercenaries you get it with 90 which is of course much better now we're going to need to see if um, he's uh, going to manage to uh, get there in uh, with enough gold so he can actually upgrade the boats at the correct time as he gets his merch uh, as he gets his uh, either mercenaries or um uh, cartography the caravel technology uh gary anthony hello there sir how are you doing yeah we do also have a uh, 10 house over here hungary board production then gold and congo might be uh clear 56 production soon uh, let's see what did you see over here uh you see nylock is 46 he's not 56 i don't know where you see uh, you saw that 56 uh, but anyway it, a, a lot of problems over here he finished his uh, temeranki he got his production up and i do see the yang is establishing in the city of congo we do have him with a little bit more science 26 and 28 he's on uh, four cities at the moment and will get mexico city this turn uh, by the looks of it that the uh, city center is going to be attacked by multiple units and boom that's it let's see he's on 53 production Okay, uh, still on, uh, still the last one in the game over here with uh, the production capabilities. Definitely needs another setter to settle over here somewhere. Anyway, he's two turning setter from the city of uh, Kabasa by the looks of it. He has uh, 15 production, of course, with um, religious settlements. And I'm pre pretty sure the Cardin is uh, trying to get this going. Uh, he has ancestral hall, so he's just uh, going to uh, try to get as many cities out as possible. I'm actually curious if he's going to go here or here. Uh, it's uh, my curious. Oh, goal is going to go coastal. He gonna do the coastal setup over here for a plus four. He didn't actually want to go non fresh water, which I kind of understand. And we do need to see if uh, Shaturianin is also gonna get the uh, oh statue of Zeus coming up from Aduatuka. He's gonna get to use that Isolator of Miletus to beef it up, uh, beef the production up. And we do have multiple swordsmen from him. I wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna go many times. So let's see. Shaturianin apprenticeship coming up next turn. He's gonna get civil service in two turns, while uh, it does seem like at the moment is uh, fiddling with the feudalism uh, we do see uh, Roy also trying to get more science up and he's attacking England and this was something that I was um 
uh, pointing at, at the beginning, if uh, Mongolia is not uh, f focused fully on goal and he just gets a few units towards uh, England, this is going to be a sp uh, spelling disaster for um, Opera 357 because he's going to be forced to use that production instead of going for simming, instead of going for campus, for you know, libraries, for something, for the boats, he's going to be forced to get uh, in his land units going to defend against an opponent and unfortunately that denies him the opportunity to get the boats out uh, in the correct moment in time to defend against uh, the seas if uh, we're gonna have just demo over here from the other side of the planet come with some uh, cannibals into his cities he's just gonna take them over without in that much of a resistance now we do have uh, to take a look also and there we go immediate uh, immediately Shaturian is putting some pressure on Mongolia uh, because I'm pretty sure Opera 357 did tell him hey I have a few problems can you come help and then Shaturian says yeah no problem we can go and take over the cities of our opponents together and never whenever uh, let's see Linda also at Iron but you don't have apprenticeship uh, free Wait, what are they talking about? Uh, gold still gets opidoms uh, early, or BBG delayed that. We do get it. At, uh, they do get um, yeah, at iron working. Also, rip Mexico City in one of the lackluster city states. Well, they got it got destroyed. Uh, just Dima put Stonehenge. Okay, you know, we're um, you know, probably gonna need to see. Wait a second. Where did he put Stonehenge? Five turns in Birmingham. That's actually so. Instead of. Um, uh, uh, why do I have the feeling that he should have gone for uh, he should have gone for the library here? I, I think he, a library would have been just much better than uh, Stonehenge. But anyway, I guess uh, Stonehenge is still good. And when you're talking about, um, um, you know, I would say in getting your religion and the era score points um, for the next era. Uh, but I was taking a look over here. We still are in the classical era. 10, 17 turns until the next one. It's not that quickly uh, for it anyway we do have uh, george over here getting um uh, getting quite a few horses in the south it looks like he's gonna be happy happy defending against city and units uh even if uh, he doesn't have a general he's uh, plugging in victor in the, in the city of chicken valley he has one tile chokes to the north to defend from and i do see uh, the plus three defender from his religion is gonna need to spread there we go he just spread in the city of chicken valley we do have uh, galleys coming up from isik i do see city is getting his heavy chariots out and i was thinking um like he's gonna go still up from the beginning but i don't see him following this up following this uh, it's city up with um more of these uh, heavy chariot pre-builds uh, well, i would actually say he should definitely settle on that two one tile rather than on the main style if he actually wants to go for a city there so he still has an option available here where is he going oh, no, no 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 don't do it oh my god man you gotta take into account the marian capsules Man, those units are extremely tough. They're very hard to handle. You gotta take them into account when you do something like this. You gotta be careful not to expose yourself to the cave source and try as much as possible to stay away from hills, from fighting in hills. Now, it looks like um, uh, Demonar is not gonna be that far away from getting his cave source. And we do have uh, Demonar Mathematics coming up in one turn, Civil Service uh, coming up in uh, four turns. He's gonna get that military alliance going and he does want the few more setters before he's doing anything like that also i gotta point out kev source will get the bonus from the next wave of generals even if he didn't get the first one he's gonna get the next one and i do see georgia on 49.3 points out of 75 he is gonna get it he gonna get it <laughs> we got an encounter training project coming up in three turns demonar a 57 faith a 74 production he's uh, gonna go for more uh, Spoon, hello there sir, how are you doing, how are you doing? Planes in the ancient era, yeah, I hope we're gonna see some planes in the ancient era, yeah. Didn't we have actually some people wanting to fly in the ancient era, didn't they find something like that? They, they put like wings of, they tried to, uh, how to say, uh, uh, be bird-like over there and uh, failed miserably. <laughs> you know, ah, look at me, I'm flying, I'm flying, woo! <laughs> <laughs> you see like in cartoons <laughs> a lot of dust getting into the air over there 
Anyway, um, Eureka gave 100%. Uh, she, what is that? Sheesh. Oh, I like how you wrote that, man. Uh, the myth of Icarus. Yeah, Icarus. Did they did they get that? I think, wait a second. Did he actually try that? What is that uh, myth? Son of the master craftsman Daedalus, the architect of the Labyrinth of Fleet. Uh, boom, bam, 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 bam. Uh, explore the savage wilderness in the after. Uh, oh no, that's actually a game. Kick. Uh, totally forgot. Yeah, that's that's a game, right? There's a game called Icarus. Uh, anyway, uh, did he actually uh, fly? Let me see. Fly. <laughs> Icarus fell from the sky, plunged into the seas and drowned. Uh, uh, he flew too close to the sun. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you, you kind of you kind of give it to these guys, man. It's it's true, but it's not true. So in that era, flying too close to the sun basically just meant fly, being just high than higher than everybody else. <laughs> you know. <laughs> If seed was made uh, according to expert from ancient angels, we could have had uh, planes and nukes in ancient eras. Kick, kick double, man. I mean, to be honest, uh, I think they would have gotten much further if they just put a man in a trebuchet, you know? <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> hey, that would have made for some uh, <laughs> interesting uh, cannonballs. What can I say? Anyway, we do have um, a goal over here, getting a massive army to push into, um, uh, I want to say, Mongolia. We, we do have uh, Mongolia not sitting, uh, sitting around and trying to do some damage against Gaul here. I do see um, it, um, Gaul did manage to finish Statue of Zeus and got quite a few free units with Spearman and uh, some archers uh, coming around freely for him. Uh, not to mention, he did manage to get a battery ram over here. He does have uh, two generals that are still giving him uh, bonuses. He can actually uh, de successfully defend the city of Tervana and Andua Tuka. Also, hello there, uh, Dubs and Trooper. Hello there, sir. <laughs> His father warned him. He didn't listen to him. He fell in the sea. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, to be honest, we still have people trying to jump for very high places into the seas. You know, like there's, there's like so many things that are happening in nowadays that uh, people have been trying to do from a long, 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 long time and i don't know man they see high cliffs that like i want to jump in the water and get back up and i want to jump again it's just adrenaline makes me make us makes us do a lot of uh, things what can i say you know same principle for uh, like sp uh, sports cars fl planes uh, and uh, bungee jumping and like those uh well i guess uh, parachuting and stuff like that it's the same principle you know they're devils man they're called their devils uh anyway uh hungary is uh, getting all the cold which is good because mongolia and tamar have none yes it does look like uh, vladimir over here is doing very nice also victoria is doing very nice to get the gold acquired and uh, looking at the tech side uh, he shouldn't be that far away from getting um, cartography you do see that opera 357 did need to go to discover military tactics uh, rather than go directly for cartography there's gonna be a mismatch in timings between them and i'm not so sure there's enough uh, land uh, enough ocean to cover for uh, after those caravels will get upgraded to get to England to give um, Opera 357 enough time to get his um, cartography. We might actually not even see him have enough uh, bonuses to defend himself here. Wait, they might actually not even know about England. Wait a second, there are uh, some of Vladimirian uh, swords over here getting. Wait, there aren't they allies? They're allies. What are these doing here? They just got promoted. What are they doing here? Why? But why? Anyway, it, it is what it is. I guess uh, just Dima 41 science. We got Opera 357 or 33 science. I'd also see a lot of culture acquired by uh, just Dima. He's going to finish his Stonehenge next and from the city of Birmingham. And we do have him with uh, Gaius Stulius, uh, Themistocles, uh, Hanno the Navigator. And I'm pretty sure he's going to acquire another one. He marries. He's going to get the um, bonuses towards his uh, Renaissance uh, naval power uh, with uh, more of these harbor shippings coming up from his cities. Uh, three cities are actually working those uh, projects. And not only he's going to get more more gold but he's also gonna get um uh, more uh, more of these uh, animal points. I'd also notice he's uh, gonna get the uh, mercenaries coming up in three times. Uh, that's gonna allow him to imp 
improve those boats from galleys into uh, caravels with with the half cost card that's going to be massive massive as a difference looking at the score screen here they're starting to acquire a lot of uh, gold on their side 206 148 23 and then 145 on uh, uh just dima on, on the other side it looks like um a goal over here is uh, making a decent amount of bank 245 uh, points actually across the board they do have a nice economy i don't think there's that much of a difference in the total gpd acquired uh, across the board uh, but there's a different um spread when we're talking about 12 plus versus uh, forever young and we do have a uh, two four six seven series right now for congo he's starting to get that production and capability up still man he went uh, one place higher now it's actually if open at 357 with 62 production while nylock actually has 65 so he's uh, getting higher a little bit he does have a lot of chops that he could still use uh, to actually um improve his territory i'm a bit surprised he's uh, not trying to work them a little bit faster we do need to see if anybody did manage to recruit hypatia where they got through all of these and yes we do have the big congo nilo getting libraries oh my god bonsoir tout la monde man merci beaucoup pour le um, uh, raid and uh, bienvenue monsieur uh, we do have a game the second game coming out of uh, best of three series between forever young and uh, 12 plus i hope uh, everybody over here is gonna feel welcome on my stream and i do hope we're gonna have some fun soon with uh, the action that is unfolding and we do have over here on the west side massive units coming out over here from goal we do have in the south uh, also mongolia getting his uh, defenses up i do see at the moment he didn't actually start pumping up those um, unique units of his uh, but he did uh, try to poke a little bit opera 357 to make him aware that hello i can actually take cities you gotta be careful that actually forced opera 357 to change his plans not going for cannibals he's going for land units and his opponent on the other side of the seas of the big ocean on this map is going for cannibals this might be spelling doom for opera 357 we did have also Scythia trying to take um uh, on uh, Georgia at the beginning of the game he could not manage to get to his cities fast enough and I do see him uh, benefiting from knights right now we should have the first kev swords on the map soon that's a 45 okay that's not uh, that's not a kev sword where are the kev swords okay demon is three times away from getting military science he's gonna get there also uh, hello there uh, Apugi bonsoir monsieur bienvenue uh, one night hello there sir bienvenue Sefi hello there sir welcome welcome ma'am Ooh, we're getting that oh my god the dance emote over there is amazing uh let me actually uh do a big shout out over here if guys if you don't know ma'am you should know ma'am man he's uh, if you're um, watching streams in french if you don't know french and ch check his stream out i believe he did even uh put the translator on can you actually imagine you gotta teach me how to do that man it would be amazing it's a uh, live translator from french into english is subtitled below the stream that's amazing oh that is amazing big one over there big one and we do have uh, to take a look uh, how they're also gonna get their golden age points we do have uh, six more turns until the next era the big gold generator over here hungary is um, uh, getting more and more and these uh, merchants uh, looks like he's gonna get uh, the choice to get the ipad run next turn and uh, where we do have uh, next in the next uh, wave i should say uh, we do have congo on 6.6 merchant points at 10 city is on 3.4 gold 2.3 and hungary 17.2 points that's a lot of points um got a board and plunder coming up for him he did acquire marco polo he got zankian at the beginning and just uh, getting that goal for his uh, team uh, i'm pretty sure they're gonna need to put a lot of gold into this uh, english attack over here and i'm also certain they're gonna need to somehow fund roy and to keep uh, his uh, enemies at bay especially shaturian in over here that's just getting bigger and bigger we do have uh, isodor of Mileto still available for the shaturian in to use he's trying to get a great bath and i'm pretty sure he's gonna try uh, to get the colosseum over here between his cities um i do also see samarkand being taken over by opera 357 with a few horses in the north also drop to sky hello there sir you don't need it michael you speak all the languages oh merci beaucoup thank you sir um Nice, passive. And wait, um, thank you, Sean. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going, man, we're going. Yeah, slowly, slowly. I mean, I don't know how to speak fluently in a lot of languages, but I do my best to actually learn uh, at least those expressions that do help me out to say the things, you know, like thank you and hello and uh, good evening and good morning and so on and so forth from different languages. Uh, Parakalo! Uh, also for info it's the second encounter of the two teams 12 uh, plus who won the first game yesterday with an amazing game i must add uh, there were a lot of stuff uh, uh, a lot of things that happened throughout the game you have to check it out it will be um, uh, in my uh, video archive and it will be on youtube soon uh, well uh, soon i say soon but it's like in four weeks it's probably gonna get on youtube i think i'm actually gonna increase the videos i put per week on youtube i've been thinking about this for like two weeks now i i put five but i do stream more so it, it, i just started to have too much of a bank over there uh, for him, uh, okay, speaking of England, what was the religion that he got from uh, Stonehenge? Let's actually see. It's probably divine, uh, sorry, uh, Zen meditation with sacred places. There we go. Uh, sacred places giving him an extra um, point, uh, extra points of science, culture, gold, and the faith in the city that has a uh, wonder. He only has one city with uh, converted and with a wonder. So, well, that's uh, two, 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 two points. Uh, he, and we do have Dibonar uh, also lacking gold over here. They're going to need to fund his, um, all of his needs and by the looks of it outside did manage to get the 56 science with uh, 42 culture a little bit bigger than demonon even though well by the looks of it city i cannot push into georgia especially next and when he's going to get his cave source now this city kutaisi did get placed uh, to the west of tbilisi increasing the um, borders of uh, georgia and we do have uh, some scythian units uh, trying to bang on that doorstep not gonna get anywhere even the swordsmen are actually a bit too tough to handle for the knights kutaisi does not benefit yet from uh, the religion of um, uh, demonar that's gonna give him defender of the faith now also hello there boreal how are you doing sir good evening good evening we do have uh, to the southwest over here also Shaturanin uh, that needs to get to his um, you know, men at arms so looking at the uh, stats where is he where is he he's going sailing and divine right okay so and this is full on well let's go get the golden age era score rather than anything else just Dima is uh, seven points out we got Dima not one point away Roy is gonna be uh, uh, nine points out as well it looks like Vladimir uh, did go over the threshold so he did manage to secure that golden age we do have uh, C two points out looks like nine lock is uh, gonna need um, nine points to get his golden age Shaturin in four points away opera 357 is uh, nine points out okay 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 Akudak's coming up from Estergom and Bura. He's setting up his uh, industrial setup over here. I do see uh, more campuses. He's going to need more science. And uh, we will need uh, to see um, uh, the conclusion of the war. Not a lot of pre builds from England. He only has one, two, three, four uh, that he probably got fr uh, free from his um, uh, cities anyway, from his uh, uh, Navy dockyards. I do see he still keeps on going for these um, uh, great animals, discovering, uh, getting as many projects as possible. Not only uh, that but he's also getting the gold uh, that he needs to upgrade those units uh, in the tech side he's one turn away from cartography he did already discover his um, mercenary so he gets to upgrade these boats half cost uh, but again he doesn't have a lot of boats okay there we go he probably will need to move away from cartography for a few turns um, probably will need to go for military engineering so he can follow up with uh, nighter discovery so he can actually build those uh, frigates we might actually see vladimir try to go there first so he can start the Acquiring the nighter a little bit earlier and um, Victoria might uh, need to go for frigates afterwards a little bit faster so he can attack the cities of England much uh, much quicker now we do have um uh, Mongolia actually getting stirrups. Where is it? Masonry. Mercenary is coming up in three turns. He gets uh, his wave of horses next. I don't see. Wait, this. I mean, he must have benefited from. He benefits from the Keshek, right? Yeah, he does benefit from the Keshek. Uh, okay. He doesn't have a single Keshek. I guess he's worried that uh, Gol is, well, benefiting from a lot of pikemen. But if. He, this is a bit confusing. It is what it is. We do have live police coming up from Ulaanbaatar, Korakoto getting core marshals, and I do see um, Mongolia is surprisingly not making any gold here uh, with 81 production. On the other side, Shaturin is 37 science, 76 culture with 140 production. I do notice uh, he's... Um, 
about to finish his arena and he does uh, have multiple pro uh, multiple chops in the city of Adoatuka but he does need a builder to actually make use of those uh, not to mention uh, that but he also has a very good placement for Colosseum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cities are going to be hit by that Colosseum bonus uh, we do have him also placing the city of Alessia in the uh, north with a plus 6 Opidum soon uh, going to be a plus 7 after he is finishing upgrading all of these and getting uh, his uh, improvements there now uh, looking at uh, Mar, we do have the first cap source on the map getting built over here from Tbilisi and uh, we're going to need to see how they're going to fare against the units oh my god look at the Kefsurian damage against the horses, man. They're just stomping these units of 67 against the 49 of a Scythian horse. And we do need to see if a Scythia is going to manage to get more units and stronger units to defend himself. I do see multiple heavy chariots coming out from him, crossbows also. Now, while um, the city of Kul Oba is placed in such a way that it is going to be stomped by these uh, Kefsurs. That's a, that's a problem. That is a very, very big problem. Very big problem. It is what it is. Now, also, Ludicrous Man. Hello, that sir. Of, uh, offered sub that wasn't renewed. Uh, it was 2.12. What, what is that? What's the we lost sub? Uh, code time. Hello, that sir. No, also, uh, what are you talking about? I have no idea what is. Um, Kuloba is actually quite hard to push it. CTI protects the north side as the right and bottom are uh, flat, uh, flat plain uh, tiles. Uh, Kuloba is extremely hard to defend. Yes, extremely hard to defend. Um, I do have to point out these uh, hills in the north are going to be a problem. And uh, to be honest, the city would do quite well to defend into the flat tiles. And I do want to take a, 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 give you a readout over here. The Kevsurs plus 7 does activate whenever you're going to fight in hill terrain. So even if the opponent is in a hill terrain and you're not. And while uh, the same can be said about the city center, it does activate. If you would have put uh, Kuloba, for example, over here on the main style, that would have been totally different. He would have had a plus 5 from the river defense and he would have had... Um, he wouldn't have uh, given a Kefsur an extra plus 7 against that city center. It's 62 Kefsur strength now, while Kuloba is 43. Uh, you can uh, actually see the difference over here. For example, the Scythian Knight is in a flat tile. Or, yes, it is a rainforest, but it's a flat tile. And it does not have that extra plus 7. It's very important. Now, I was saying that it is actually decent, uh, decently defendable. A lack of hills near the city. Uh, no, it's not. Th this city is not defendable at all unfortunately unfortunately for uh, Scythia this is uh, um, probably the worst placement he could have had uh, to put a city um it is what it is like uh, the best city center would have been here on the main style and uh, another one over here uh, on the flat tile to the north of the river bend but other uh, Kuloba is in the worst placement possible I, uh, you can get catapults in it you can get uh, the capsules to push from the north you can easily take out those units defending that city and um, have all of the bonuses on your side it's uh, lucky for him that actually Demonar doesn't want to push it's very lucky for him that Demonar doesn't want to push they're focusing everything they can on Victoria so he gets his boats out and he gets to upgrade his um, uh, cannibal uh, the moment he did move away from Cannibal's technology to go uh, for Apprenticeship and Divine Right, he's just pumping out boats from his side. We do have for him with a massive fleet over here uh, getting ready to upgrade into Cannibal's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 galleys. You usually want to get between like uh, 10 and 14 galleys uh, to go against your opponent. Now, also, uh, hello, Derry Banga. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Bienvenue. Uh, also, Kevzor needs, uh, needs to be nursed to plus 5. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I, I don't see a reason for it to be nerfed at plus five yet. I guess we're going to need to see if uh, we're going to see more people crying about it. I think it's uh, decently st uh, strong for its timing and it does have his uh, niche scenarios, especially uh, with uh, hill terrain. Now, you, you got to take into account always um, to, uh, how to play against the Kefsur and that basically needs um, a little bit of adapting from your side uh, to see how you can uh, place your cities, how you can place your defense, uh, what kind of defense you're going to have and so on. Um, also, Ten House, a 12 plus uh, thing, England is in a, best, uh, in a bad place, a goal that England take Samarkand to have a safe city on the inland sea so I guess they have noticed uh, all the animals going yes yes I'm pretty sure uh, Opera 357 is going to need to get in here uh, 
Whoa, Mori, there's a papa chilling. Hello, there's an end. Good evening. What did happen in your game over there? Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. No spoilers, no spoilers. I hope you had a wonderful stream and I hope uh, the game was amazing. Um, uh, I believe uh, you, you were streaming Freitos de la Vega going against Gold by Library over there in the other games of uh, the CWC Season 8 playoffs. Also, playing toilet. Bonjour. <laughs> How are you doing, son? Uh, welcome. Uh, that makes Taman really good in Highlands. Yes, it does. Also, welcome everybody. We're watching a game between uh, Forever Young and uh, 12 Plus. It does seem like uh, we're gonna have uh, multiple um, uh, conflicts over here going around the map. Uh, first of all, Tamar versus Scythia. We got Gold versus Kublai Khan China. We got the two Englands at their necks over here fighting each other. And we're about to see the upgrades of Just Dima into those uh, caravels. He does have a lot of gold banked up. Uh, he does have the mercenaries. He has everything ready for the next era and the era score he needs uh, to get a golden age we do we are also one uh, turn away from getting into the next era and looking at the points over here we got golden ager golden ager golden ager golden ager and we do have also another golden ager golden ager golden ager golden ager everybody in the game managed to get the era score for the next golden age and they will activate those uh, those options in the next um, uh, era uh, good game so far. Yes, it's starting to be better. Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Colosseum also got uh, built over here in the city of Sub Gold. It does look like Chaturanin is uh, an overwhelming Roy with just sheer amount of production and culture. 44 science, uh, 106 culture with 168 production on uh, Ambiorix. We do have him uh, getting a few more settlers out, finishing up his Yampus in Samar Obriva, and God did manage to get Oracle here with the Colosseum. Now he's actually benefiting from a lot of for happiness throughout his empire in the six cities uh, that are being hit by that Colosseum and we do see intelligence agency being built in Nalanda uh, so he can get a spy over his opponent and to be honest it doesn't look like Mongolia at the moment has the strength and the ability to disrupt his sim it does seem like also Shaturanin is not going to be that offensive against his opponent he's going to want to wait for a little bit of a later timing also Skydom hello there sir bonsoir monsieur bienvenue yeah, como estaba? Um, we do have uh, Capsule Plus 7 on Hills, it's OP in a Highlands map. Yes and no, as in there's a lot of uh, distance between you and your opponent and a lot of the times you can't really get to the caps uh, with the Capsule Time against your opponent. You gotta have to be lucky to actually have uh, an opponent in that range. And uh, people might actually just uh, want to avoid settling cities in your face if they do see you uh, uh, with the Capsule there. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so let's see. We did we get yeah, yeah, we got into the next golden. We're gonna need to wait and see what the players are gonna go for. Let's take a quick peek at the scientist screen and see, uh, or I should say, in the great uh, people screen. We do have a uh, goal over here, Cynthia over here, Mongolia getting points, England getting a little, few points as well. I don't think England did manage to get a general though. No, he did not. He's actually gonna uh, try to build a few galleys of his own, try to defend himself. He does have Rajendra Kola with Artemisia. Well, I guess it's good that he got. Um, a bonus over there for his renaissance uh, units but looking at the tech side it's gonna take him a while to actually discover cartography he's one turn away from buttress with uh, one turn away from mercenaries he does have 68 science and uh, he did not choose his golden age bonuses yet he might actually go for inquiry uh, that will put him at the correct uh, timing to actually get um, the caravels unfortunately he just doesn't have a lot of uh, units to upgrade from uh, and they might not actually even have the gold for theirs uh, for his boats for their boats oh for his boats now uh, I, I did also take a look uh, over here in the north if there was any possibility for a canal city it doesn't look like there will be a possibility for a canal city until we're gonna see the first wave of um melting ice and uh, which is gonna take a while uh, we do have uh just pants just followed 
Hey, Bloopy Pants. Hello there, sir. Thank you so much for the follow. Nice name. Nice name, I gotta say. Is this uh, other continent? Yes. Actually, we do have another continent over there. So, oh my God. We might actually have red coats. I got confused at the beginning when uh, I thought, uh, uh, how to say, England over here is going to be Age of Empire. But it looks like uh, Age of Empire is here. So, he might get some red coats over England on the other side, uh, stopping his opponent with uh, those unique units. That might happen. Uh, chill brains on also hello there sir double canal can be built let me see where do you see a double canal over here uh, there is, there is no, only hills did they change that you can actually build uh, canals on hills i thought it's uh, i'm pretty sure it's only flat tiles anyway uh to connect it okay so it's not okay so uh, we're gonna have a pause of two minutes and we're gonna come back after uh, that uh, to actually take a look what's uh, going on um uh, you could deserve me okay uh and uh well let me finish the congress I'll be right back Bam! Yeah, uh, you mean about uh, Bradford near wheat? Uh, th these ones, you mean? This one and this one. Uh, going in uh, to the next round, let's actually take a quick peek over here. Ambiorix, uh, oh my god, no walls. No walls in the city center, guys. We got Ambiorix getting the 20% population growth and, uh, of course, uh, pass via Tiger Breaker. That's actually a bit unfortunate. And we do have uh, Age of Empire, Jasdima, with uh, two Diplo victory points. Let me actually finish the, fix the sound over here because I'm not hitting it properly. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, just Dima we might actually get the opportunity later on to actually um, get Mahabharata Temple as well if he actually builds a holy site and he does have sta um, Statue of Liberty placements. And we do see him up starting to upgrade his caravels and looks like he's gonna go against um, Opera 357 quite quickly. That's a lot of. Um, I would say a lot of cities that he's going to acquire three cities uh, coming up from uh, the six cities of England. Of course, the other cities might actually be uh, weaker after he's doing that. And uh, that will uh, take away half of the half of a player of uh, 12 plus. Uh, we do also need to see if uh, Mongolia, Roy over here, is going to get his um, option to go against the uh, goal anytime soon. It doesn't look like it. Goal does have a lot of science and a lot of culture to uh, keep uh, going stronger. Not to mention almost triple the production. 
production numbers. Puk sake, hello there, sir. Puk sake, actually. I hope the players are getting a cut from all of these and have been causing during a few hours. At least they have a decent price pool, else it's pretty sus. Whoa, whoa. So you just want to watch the screen for two minutes for a while there's nothing happening. Uh, I did actually ask uh, my viewers at some point in talking about that subject. I did make uh, multiple polls about that subject and they said uh, expe uh, because uh, Twitch did uh, give us uh, a lot of uh, also incentives to make ads and so on and so forth. And uh, the stream chat was of the opinion that during the stale moments where nothing is happening during the Congress, I should put ads. Uh, so yeah that is it hmm. also let's see but he has jobs to get it he can use the little uh, engineers uh then uh, wait chill base you can set oh uh, yeah it's gonna be very very uh, slow to actually get that canal i think it's gonna be much faster to just uh, get the uh, lad units uh, built or bought over here and to go against your bonds uh, we do have um, uh, to the east side uh, take a look at uh, actually let's get and take a look at all of the bonuses before we do anything else we do have uh, the, um, England, Victoria, Free Inquiry, Golden Age, Age of Empire, and uh, I do see um, Opera 357 is being caught with his pants down over here. We do have uh, Opera 357 getting printing, and uh, it, it does look like um, uh, next turn he's gonna get uh, some uh, diplomatic visibility over his opponent. Uh, we do need to see how this is uh, gonna be um, uh, settled. It does seem like uh, just Dima is gonna get the upper hand. Uh, Dimonar with um, printing as well. We do see uh, Tamar getting pen brush and voice golden age on uh, two, four, six, seven series. Uh, we do have uh, more. Um, hard build as you can see capsules from his side which are gonna do massive amounts of damage against the units in the hills uh, now it does seem like uh, at the moment Cynthia is uh, starting to keep himself uh, nicely uh, nicely um, intact over here to defend Kuloba uh, we do have um, also Roy uh, with uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age looking at his stats 47 science 47 culture unfortunately minus 14 gold only 88 production while he's putting cash on the map I'm pretty sure these are just not gonna be strong enough or uh, numerous enough Enough to chew through the Gaelic defenses he might get some uh, damage done against England especially after England is gonna start losing series and we got the Vladimir 150 science 62 culture with 165 uh, gold per turn and it does look like 173 uh, production coming up uh, from his side in the production queues very nice production also it's gonna be beefed up with more acronyms and industrial zones coming up from his series outside 59 science and 42 culture we do have pen brush and voice uh, coming up on um, uh, Tomeris and uh, it does seem like uh, he's in a monarchy at the moment government uh, getting a few more crossbows to help him out with the uh, defense while he did manage to put the uh, one galley in the city of Isik he can't really push against Sikil Valley with that uh, that's uh, I guess he got a boat for the Erasquare rather than getting a boat for the offensive uh, purposes uh, there is a bit of a skirmish over here in, in being done in the city of 40 and I do see Hungary get, is getting some black armies a city state got killed over here or, a, or uh, one of the cities of Georgia died I'm not sure which one of the two, but I, I'm guessing the latter. Uh, we do have... Um uh, no, that those were, uh, I guess, yeah, city state got killed. Which city state was that? We got only two, four, six cities available for them in the game now. Uh, with uh, Hungary also uh, starting to attack city and units from the south. It looks like the war is starting to get heated up. Uh, we do have um, Chaturenin, uh, sorry, Nylok actually, with 67 science and 68 culture. And Penbrush and Voice Golden Age on his side. Two, four, six, eight uh, cities for him to def uh, develop. And I do see Mongolia is actually trying to oh my god mongolia mongolia might actually go and attack congo while congo is not prepared for this neither is goal to get uh, some help for him we do need to see if uh, nylok is uh, gonna manage to um, uh, be uh, defend uh, to defend over here the city of Mbanza Congo that is his most prized possession over here that city with the Temenanki we do have uh, Shaturinin also 68 science 126 culture pen brush and voice uh, golden age um, uh, we don't really control what uh, casters do it's just uh, uh, they're getting the slots us we don't control that we don't control that. that's it um, and also uh, you can't really control ads on your channels as uh, as a streamer uh, first of all it's twitch that's doing that you only have the option to run some ads at some point and that's about it um 
And I think game is uh, nicer watching a spectator and casters have their work cut out for them. The fact that it's getting streamed uh, makes it more popular. Yes, that is true. Uh, when Miguel has a comment, this what? Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see what's happening over here. Okay. Anyway, now Opera 357 coming up, uh, 98 science for 35 culture. We do have a free inquiry golden age coming up for uh, Victoria, age of steam. And of course, he has a bit of a problem. One English carnival fleet going against Manchester. And we do have, uh, by the looks of it, uh, still some galleys coming off from Opera 357. But in two thirds, he's going to get cartography. His full pre builds uh, might be taken down. Down. the English remaining fleet is starting to get into the borders of uh, England soon of uh, Opera 357 and it does look like uh, these uh, galleys are gonna go down quickly um, can we um, uh, sure we can uh, <laughs> we can mute him <laughs> yeah um, yeah anyway it is it is what it is uh england versus england are going down over here and yes it does look like also hello that's a mind blow bon bonjour monsieur bienvenue bienvenue uh, we do have uh by the looks of it actually uh, just just gonna uh i'll say uh, just gonna say one more thing about the casters i was the uh, one that opened up and did not make uh how to say uh, uh open up the casters to have access to all of the games uh doing the restreams and set up uh, did as much work as possible to set up uh, um how to say for them uh, channels they can use on uh, cpl for example so they can actually have um uh, the content available for them even if uh, we do have the official caster and volunteer caster and so on and so forth so i think it's as uh, democratized and as open as possible uh, compared to other to other um, uh, tournaments that's uh, all i'm gonna say about this unless it's pal also hello there sir uh, if you want to do my uh, is it uh, yeah yeah, that, that's also true. Lassie Serpent. Also, good evening, sir. Uh, is the MVP for uh, 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 Age of Steam, uh, Age of Empire, Age of Steam versus Age of Empire 2? Yes. Uh, we do have um, cartography finishing up next turn for Opera 357. Only one, two, uh, three, four boats, uh, five, six, seven actually in the north are available for him to upgrade. Uh, he will need um, a gold from his teammates. And as you can see, they are giving it to him so he can upgrade his uh, units. Now, we do have uh, also. Uh, Cool whip, hello there, sir. It does seem like um, Age of uh, Steam, unfortunately, is going to need to uh, use these Eastern cities uh, to try to, well, stay alive in the game. He did manage to get uh, some in the north over here uh, to give him uh, a little bit of a chance uh, to get some economy for his teammates and try to be uh, useful in the next part of the game. I do have to uh, point out at the moment we do have uh, two nations, uh, three nations over 100 science. Two of them are from Forever Young with Vladimir benefiting from that pre inquiry Golden Age on his side. He has 169 science and 67 culture uh, we do have just demo 127 science with uh, 45 culture and uh, we do have free inquiry golden age for him as well while opera 357 did switch to a free inquiry he's the only one with 100 science on uh, 12 plus and as you can see over here he's gonna start losing uh, three series soon especially since uh, england is gonna start pushing it to him he did manage to get rajendra kola as uh, an admiral which will help him uh, try to do uh, some defense over here and get some bonus on his cannibals unfortunately he just won't have enough of them to defend himself properly and with the lacking of uh, the ability to build walls in his city center that is going to be a, a very big problem because uh, england is just going to keep on smashing against the um, uh, city's uh, defenses and uh, do uh, damage uh, turn uh, after turn after turn until they take them down uh jack Hook, hello there sir and thank you so much man thank you so much uh he didn't uh upgrade well he did upgrade now yeah he did upgrade now anyway uh, we don't need to see if uh, goal will do anything about uh, mongolia here it doesn't like we got men at arms upgraded from england while um, uh, goal is also upgrading his men at arms so we got multiple crossbows available for uh, mongolia and it does look like he preferred to go for crossbows instead of kishex uh, so he can uh, deal the damage against um, uh, spearman and against the uh, men at arms with uh, the different units of course kishex are uh, just as good as uh, crossbows against the uh, men at arms but um, uh, crossbows are gonna do more damage against the spearman then these kashiks and you can see there's an extra defense over here for the spearman uh, when you're talking about cav units attacking into them an extra plus 10 is available 
Now we do have uh, also Scythia over here, amassing uh, um, an army to the southeast of Isik with multiple knights and uh, some Sakah horse archers that did manage to get the promotions going. It doesn't look like Georgia is allowing him to pass through, especially with uh, the Kefsur line. And these uh, units on the defense are going to be uh, quite strong for the knights to push through. And it doesn't look like the crossbows are going to be able to dwindle that uh, health down enough so they can uh, do something about it. Um, Nemesis, I wish I ignored my life now. Like, my can ignore that? Oh, kick uh, We do have uh, campuses coming around in uh, two turns from uh, Akal Kalaki. I mean, I'm uh, I, I guess I'm kind of used to it by now. I did, I did have last year and the year before that a lot of uh, a lot of things happening during the stream. Anyway, uh, Chancery coming up from Debrecen. We do have Burak getting his for the ministry. Uh, pyramids in Estergom, and he's going to get a free builder with an extra builder charge on all of these uh, uh, Hungarian builders uh, from now on. He's also managing to get uh, all of the Pantanal tiles used in different cities. So maybe two from Estergom, two from Eger. And I do see him uh, trying to get more science up with his uh, universities there. Uh, he kind of is arriving at his uh, city count here. He's on. He's going to be on two, four, six six eight cities he could actually place another two over here in the south and that's about it so 10 cities for hungary is still enough to actually go for the late game and uh, try to carry his uh, team for big into victory we do have uh, more uh, campuses coming up from his uh, cities and he's preparing for the next um um, for the next era uh, when he's going to lose his free inquiry uh, and as you can see over here the English caravels are strong enough to actually attack into the city centers of um, uh, Opera 357 it does seem like uh, with uh, the multiple animals he has available he can uh, he can be uh, boost um, the boats in different uh, sides while uh, England just doesn't have a lot of uh, boats to use he might take one down though uh, this uh, will get a promotion though if it's kit uh, he needs to be careful with that now we do see in the city of Plymouth, for example, two of these caravels uh, did get upgraded from Opera 357 while England is uh, trying to box them in so he doesn't allow him to build more or get more uh, so he is uh, not going to have problems. While he's uh, focusing his main efforts on Liverpool and Manchester, he's uh, bringing also another wave of... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, caravels over there oh my god i really like what he did over here i really like the fact that he overdid it when it comes to galleys if he actually ended up with um, a stalemate going against uh, his opponent he would have had the people necessary to keep on going against his opponent and take him down uh is uh, congo being pillaged oh right congo oh he lost the city oh my god this is Oh, oh this is amazing oh my god man uh, i can't believe that roy managed to get in with those courses into the main cities of congo got it Emenanki, his crown jewel away from him man this <laughs> I think he even um, wrote down, left the roads in such a way to actually give a message to Congo. I don't know why I feel like um yeah <laughs> i think he even uh, made some signs over here about congo <laughs> i mean it, it kind of depends on uh, what kind of uh, you know uh, what kind of uh, perspective you're gonna look at it's gonna be a candy if you look at it this way and it's uh, definitely not gonna be a good one if you look at it this way you know we do have um yeah, Mongolia going for the city of Mbata. It looks like he's uh, sieging that city. And by the looks of it, uh, yes, we do have more courses coming around. Uh, it looks like uh, Mongolia is uh, doing a lot of pillages in the cities of uh, Congo. While uh, Congo was slacking for quite some time here in the stand screen, uh, he is um, unfortunately, well... Uh, getting pillaged over here by his opponent uh, he did it did take a long time for him to actually get all of his cities out but he does have two four six seven at the moment so we got uh, two members from 12 plus that are in very very big problems uh we do have um, also uh, mongolia roy getting bigger and trying to go towards uh, england over here with some um, courses getting a bigger army not getting bigger in the stats because he's just 52 and 54 uh, they have designated roy as the damage dealer over here the irrelevant of uh, 12 plus and we got a gg 
We got it. Face Forever Young takes us to a third game. And it seems like 12 plus will need to get that A game going on Sunday. When they're going to meet again to settle the score between the two teams on the Pangea Standard Regis map. When 12 plus did not manage to withstand the powers of their opponents. We did have uh, Age of uh, Empire going against Age of Steam. Taking down Throne Cities. We did have a massive a massive amazing big brain strategy coming up from Roy instead of going against his two opponents next to him he went all the way around with the courses and hit the crown jewel as of his opponent Congo he took away the Temenaki city and managed to push through to the other cities uh, erailing his opponents out of the game massive massive moves coming up over here massive oh man oh man this is this is amazing amazing i mean fitting for a cup game and fitting for a world cup game let's actually move um into the post game chat to actually see uh, what the players will have uh, to say about uh, their moves over here uh, and congratulate them for what they did uh, good evening good evening michael Oh my god, man. I did not see those courses until it was uh, right on. They were right on Congo City, man. Yeah. <laughs> that that move over there, bro. Congratulations. When did you think of that? When when was the initial one? I, I mean, uh, from the start of the game, it is the strength of the King Gears that his units are very fast. Yeah. And you don't go fight with your uh, neighbor. You go to another guy who is far away and didn't don't expect your attack yeah and yeah. also the congress that blocked the city walls was huge so yeah can't build yeah. yeah and i gotta say uh congo did uh keep his stats low for as much time as possible like no lack of production lack of cities over there it took him quite some time he felt safe he said he felt that he could go for the late game and it looks like he proved him wrong yeah he didn't even had spy or printing. I have 18 intel on him. Yeah, true, true, true. Um, did you think about uh, remapping the, fir uh, the first one? I think it was 12 plus that remap, right? Not you. We were thinking about remapping, but when we saw that England is next to me, next mm -hmm. to Mongolia, we thought that, that that map is good for us. <laughs> yeah, that would have been G a hard GG, one. Hey, GG, Vladimir. Nice uh, gold uh, generation over there. Uh, getting uh, all of the merchants, getting all of the trade routes. Very nice, very nice. Yes, thank you. What you sorry, uh, sorry, we just discussed with guys in other place, so we can discuss here. Okay. Uh, so what was the question? Um, were you happy with uh, the free seeming position or would have you want a, a little bit more um, action with uh, Hungary? A little bit more action. Uh, I'm just wondering if there was any uh, signed CS on the map or not. Uh, it was, but it was killed by uh, Gol and Congo at the beginning. It was Nalanda. Uh, and they, okay. they killed it, I don't know, 10, 20 or something very quickly. Even earlier. That's the only yeah. sign CS. Yeah, I have Hungary and I have only two uh, red CS. Pretty, pretty unfortunately. Yeah. Samarkand was uh, also taken. Like uh, there weren't that many options for uh, for Hungarian bonuses. I guess Jerusalem. Did you wait? Jerusalem, right? In yeah, uh, but yeah. Mongolia take it. Yeah. Oh, that's where you upgraded the courses, right? Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, anyway, GG, we will have the game through, so... Yeah, GG well played. Yeah. One GG. one right now, GG. Thank you for the cast. Yeah, with much pleasure, man. Congratulations. Uh, so, there we have it. We, um, yeah, we uh, saw an amazing play coming up from uh, Forever Young on uh, the Pangea Standard Ridges map. With uh, We heard a little bit from Vladimir and we did hear a little bit from uh, also Roy Batty. Uh, we do need to see uh, what's going to happen in the third game that's going to be on Sunday. And I believe it's still the same hour, like 1800 GMT, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, tomorrow, we're also going to have another game uh, coming up over here. Let me actually take a quick peek on the Castle Nations. Uh, people, bam, 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 bam. 
platform we do have saturday 1800 gmt predators de la vega going against gold by library and uh, we're gonna co-cast that with uh, kacheshka and uh, we're gonna have also a friend stream uh, by uh, distoria um, also, I do want to thank uh, everybody for uh, the support of the stream. Much appreciated for the followers. Much appreciated for uh, also the subs, uh, the gifts, and uh, the bits. Thank you, thank you so much. It does help me out a lot uh, to keep on going forward. Uh, Cleo is in. With, uh, uh, have a good evening, sir. What happened? Uh, we did have Forever Young managing to get the win. That's what happened. Um, we did have Tom, 12 plus uh, losing the game over here. Uh, we did have uh, Roy Batty getting into the line of defense of Congo. Took away a city, and he was going for the other. City. We did also have uh, England uh, as in uh, Just Dima taking over the um, a series of his opponent. Um, I believe it was Opera 357 over here. Just not enough production for Opera 357 to do everything at once. Uh, also, have a good evening, uh, Heinrich Dave. I do want to say uh, bye bye. Uh, also, Nemesis. Uh, I also want to point out if you're coming out from uh, YouTube, uh, don't forget to actually throw this a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and of course, let's see each other live on Twitch.tv slash on Spot TV uh, to see the the games alive and we get to chat about uh, everything over here also i do hope uh, we're gonna see each other on um uh, Discord, uh, you can take a look at my Discord to see uh, the schedule of uh, the upcoming games uh, that are, uh, I try to update as uh, quickly as possible. And of course, I give you the inf other information if you have uh, any other questions over there. Leave a comment down below the YouTube uh, video if you have uh, anything to say about the games and of course the competitions or if you have any kind of questions uh, related to um, uh, Civilization 6 in general or of course the co multiplayer community. Uh, thank you so much about everything. Uh, let's see each other in the next streams and of course, have a good time with some Civilization 6 gaming. Bye-bye.